All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Randall. This is the McClure's. We react, we, we, re <laughs> we react, review, we make fun of, we laugh at stuff over here. Links, of course, are down in the description. If you would like to help support the channel, by all means, please do. Click the links down in the description. If you shop McClure's.com, you will also help your fellow Americans. Everything on there is created by American Small Business. It's American made. So if you shop the screen, shopmcclures.com, you will help America, which is, uh, should be the goal of all Americans is to help America. Um, but yeah, flat earth deep dive, flat earth deep dive is what's on the schedule for today. Um, I have done my own deep dive into Flat Earth. It's probably been years ago now. <clears throat> and I concluded after my research that uh, Flat Earth, although they do make some good points, they are full of shit and it is not true. So I am a round earther. With that being said, I am open minded. I'm very open-minded. Uh, if I can be convinced, then uh, we'll become a flat earther. Uh, I'm not one of those people who can't believe something different than the majority. Uh, that's usually the case for me. Uh, currently, I believe that I'm a young earther, which I know is a weird concept for, for a lot of people. But I think the planet is only... Uh, however old God said it is, 6,000 years or what have you. What about the dinosaur? The... Yeah, they all died in the flood. God killed all the dinosaurs, except for the ones that he saved on the ark, uh, like the alligator. Um, but, bit, Amik's here for it. Amik is here for it. I just got my Rumble chat pulled up. Amik's already tapping in. Uh, Amik is an admin of mine. Uh, he's also a rapper. If you want to go check him out, Amik619. Uh, but he's a flat earther. He is a flat earther. So this is a debate that we've had back and forth a couple times now. And uh, we're going to get into that it. That was weird. All right, well, shout out to everybody tapped in on Rumble. We appreciate you. My name is Randall. This is the McClure's. We react, review, we make fun of, we laugh at stuff over here. Links, of course, are down in the description. If you'd like to help support the channel, you can shop McClure's.com. That's the website. We sell quality American products over there. Everything you buy on the website helps me, of course, keep streaming and making content. But it also helps the American company who's making the products. Uh, it's a win-win for everybody. You get good shit, America is supported, and I get to keep making content. So, yay for that. It's on the screen right there, shopmcclures.com. Thank you to all the military folks out there. We appreciate you. But, uh, yeah, we're here for the Flat Earth Deep Dive today. We're going to get into it. Feel free to get involved in the chat. Let me know what you think. Uh, about the whole situation and let me know what videos we should be checking out to either prove flat earth is real or to prove that it's bullshit we're we're open-minded so we're looking at both sides of the story i wore my bullshit shirt today um in light of the bullshit argument about flat earth at least that's where i stand as of now maybe two hours from now i'm a flat earther who knows who knows? But we're going to get into it and figure it out. So Amik says we should start off with the rocket video that hits the firmament. I have seen said video before. I don't know if you guys have seen it or not. Um, it is a very strange video. But it is a video. So videos can be faked. Rocket hits... Firm Ament. There is a video of it. 
and we shall check it out. Our mission as the Civilian Space Exploration Team is to be the first civilian team in history to launch a rocket that reaches space. Okay. All systems are go for launch. You might have 10 seconds. All systems are go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's extremely loud. But there she is, rocket reaching out to 73 miles. It's spinning like a mother. It's spinning like a mother. That's one thing in the video though, if you notice now the sound's out, I'm not sure when it goes out. Like, why was it so loud here? And then it starts to get quiet. Why does it start to get quiet? That's what's weird about this video. It makes it think it was edited. Because your audio can't change unless you change the setting. And this is supposedly the audio that we get with it hitting. That's what doesn't make sense about this video, though, is why did the sound cut out way before it hit? And why is that the sound? How can that be the sound of a rocket hitting the firmament? Sounds like a cup being put down on a fucking coffee table. So, I have seen this video. I mean, this video is not going to convince me. Uh, I think this video is bullshit. I think the video is bullshit. Uh, 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 uh. Amik, I really thought you were going to have these videos lined up, bro. You're like, yep, this one right here proves it. This one right here. This guy, he knows what he's talking about. So you believe in something, and you don't even know where or why you believe it, dude? How about this one? This one's pretty clickbaity. Believe in Flat Earth. You must watch this. I say we do this one. Probably one of the top 1,000 people out of 8 billion on the planet. What about any favorite? The top 1,000 out of 8 billion on the planet. Uh, yeah, except for 8 billion people don't play basketball. 8 billion people aren't in high school or college age. So, you're special, bro. You're not that special. You're not that fucking special. Okay? Don't get ahead of yourself, my guy. Alright. So, everybody, welcome. If you haven't hit the thumbs up, then hit the thumbs up. Share the live, all that good stuff. Uh, we're going to get into this. So this is Professor Dave. Um, I don't know who the fuck Professor Dave is, but he seems to like himself. Uh, I don't know that. I just made that shit up, but we're going to go with it. He loves himself very much. Uh, That's the problem, is the things that you see disappear and only the debunks stay up so you can never go back and find them. Uh, if it's on BitChute, it doesn't ever disappear. Uh, stuff does get taken off of YouTube, that's for sure. But once it's on the internet, it's on the internet. So if you know who it is or when it was or what podcast it was on, we could find it for sure. Well, let's get into this. Let's see what these guys talk about. 
talk about. I don't know what the fuck that was. Um, let's see what these guys talk about. Let's see the points that they bring up. And maybe they'll mention something uh, specifically that we want to dive into further. Uh, maybe they'll convince a meek that Flat Earth is not real. Who knows? Who knows? But uh, let's get into this and take a look. Right there, let us bring in the guest for the Flat Earth debate. Here we go. Here's Flat Earth. David. Hey, David. How's it going? Hey, what's going on? Thanks for having me. This Thank is you for uh, coming gonna back. going to be interesting for sure. It's, it's going to be very interesting, isn't it? And Professor hey. Dave. Howdy. Thank you, for, thank you for coming on for the first time. Thanks for having me. Congratulations on your YouTube success, man. Two million subs. That's phenomenal. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, this is uh this is the first time um I think a real flat earther, I'll call myself a real flat earther, um, has spoken direct with uh with Professor Dave as he normally does videos, you know, that just go out and uh, pretty much straw man us, whether you know it or not or gaslight us and then there's really no way to respond because no, so you've it, never seen my channel ever and have no idea what i do because i no, make no, no. academic I, tutorials i have i have but 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 your your flat earth stuff is um mm -hmm. is gaslighting us essentially it's so, devastating I, and destroys well, yeah, flat earth easily Ab absolutely so <laughs> i started I I, I, big I, straw I, man oh he says that they think the earth is flat what you a straw what? man I'm, I'm with you listen i don't mean to come off that way would it be okay to look for some common ground? Can I just ask a couple of quick questions, Dave? You good that? Whatever you want to do, man. Yeah, I'm just just for you know to see if we have any common ground. Do you believe we went to the moon? Yeah. Okay. Do you believe that governments are here, especially the American government, for the people's well-being? That's no. a pretty complicated question. <laughs> okay, you don't have to answer. That's fine. That's a, that, that's good. Um, do you believe that there's censorship going on on YouTube? Yes. Uh, some stuff is deprioritized in the algorithm. I don't yeah. know if that qualifies as censorship. And uh, is the news here to inform or? All right, one thing I will give, it definitely seems like they're tagging up or tag teaming this guy or ganging up on him. Uh, and uh, very dismissive of his argument uh, up front, for sure. Or to fill us with propaganda. Uh, the news is largely propaganda. None right. of that has anything to do with the shape of the earth. So I don't know what the hell you're even talking about. Literally none of that has to do with the shape of the earth. So you're Shame really off to a bad just, start already. Just looking, for some, just looking for some common ground. That's all. Mm. Well, so if we Sean, both don't like the government, therefore the earth is flat. <laughs> so, so, the, so, the common, so the common ground is that we're going to try and keep um, talking points to three minutes each, uh, responses to two or three minutes each, so we could get through this hour. And everyone could get an equal share of the time involved here. And I think the first point that we've got up on the list is, what is gravity? You want to go first, Dave, or you want me to go? Oh, okay. We're, this is how we're doing this? Uh, okay. So according to general relativity, it's the curvature of space-time around massive objects. Uh, and so this is uh, one of the easiest ways to know that the Earth is a sphere because everything we see, everything, including the Earth, uh, right, very large, massive objects are crushed into a sphere. That's why stars, planets, moons, everything pretty much is spheres. So uh, you can now go ahead and do your, like, electric, electric gravity bullshit, and then I'll explain to you why it's stupid. Well, the, the question is, does anybody have, you know, any scientists or anybody that's ever proven that any of the luminaries we see in the sky are even physical, let alone spheres? Yeah, we can see them in telescopes. You can we see can... them. So you believe that if you see, um, you see something that that'll, that'll tell you its shape. So when I look at this, are these spheres? Oh. Are these spheres? Dave, are these spheres? Yeah, no, I've seen this little trick and I know it's, the it's third one from trick. the left it's... is flat. It's showing now, you. See, the third, here's wait, the, the third problem. One from the left is fat. Dave, let me, let me, give me a second, then you can go. No, because I've seen what? you do this, because I watched what? two of your videos and you say the same crap in every single one. Right. I but know what, what these are. I know what these shapes these are. So, so, how do you know what shape the moon is? How do okay, you know so, that the moon is even a physical object here, during, here's a, a, during a. So, I have seen this video also that he's trying to show. And he's trying to portray that when you look at them, some of them are flat, some of them are round, some of them's a half disc, one's a ball. They all look roundish. You know what I mean? From here. And then Richie from Boston has a video about the moon being just plasma. All New right. moon. 
No one yeah, sees I, the I get moon it. in the sky. I, I know your talking points. So the reason, so this works because that's not moving. The things in the sky move. So if you take the third one from the left, which I know is flat, and you move it around, it's going to start to change shape. Right. If the moon was a flat disk, I don't even know if that's one of your talking points or not. As it passed over you, it would change shape. It would. I don't it think would the distort. moon is a flat disk at all. Okay, so it doesn't matter though. That's why what you're saying is stupid because these objects do not move. Now the other problem is it's not just about shape. It's about other things like composition. Do you know what spectroscopy is? Yeah, spectroscopy is you, you can measure gases, but it has to be in a container. Where's the container? <laughs> no, 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 no. Stop. 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 We are in, we are looking at light. We're looking at light and we are understanding about the materials, right? We're understanding the composition of things based on light. So when you start talking about gases, you, uh, you, sh you show me immediately that you don't even know what spectroscopy is. So you do not know the ways in which we figure out things about celestial objects. You literally don't even know the definitions of the words that represent the techniques that we use. So why are you even... I mean, he's being a dismissive asshole. You don't need to know the definition of a word. Not that I'm sticking up for the flat earther, but he is being a fucking cuck asshole right here. Talking this about Dave it. Farina guy. So my, my question is, spectro spectroscopy needs to be in a container. Otherwise, you don't spectroscopy know Spectroscopy needs to be in a container. The study of how light interacts with matter needs to be in a container. Other, what does that mean? You, otherwise, when you're looking at the moon, you don't know what gases you're seeing in between us and the moon. Gases? The moon is solid. The moon is a solid object. How do you know that the moon is solid? How come you can't see it during a new moon? How, why can't you see it during a new moon? Yeah. Because, do you understand how vision works? Well, right. In a new moon, what's happening in a new moon? The There's light no from the sun, the you sun wait. is illuminating the side of away from us. So, right, light illuminates the things that it hits. So, a new moon is when the side that the sun is illuminating is the other side away from us. What do you want it to do? The light to go around the moon and come back and so, hit the other side like magic? Yeah. Without interrupting, let me just uh, answer the when we have a uh, when there's when it's nighttime, you're in the, away from all lights and there's a full moon, I can read by that moonlight. That moonlight uh -huh. casts a shadow on the ground. Don't interrupt. Uh -huh. That casts a shadow on the ground. So that moonlight, which is reflected sunlight off a dusty, dirty, rocky you know, rock ball yeah. in your world, is bright enough to travel 238,000 miles to cast a shadow on the ground and to light up my book so I can read. Correct. During a total solar eclipse in your world, the Earth is a full Earth from the moon's point of view. It's bigger and shinier, and it should light up the moon, but it doesn't, and no telescope, no from any position with Gee. infrared or anything has ever seen the moon. Can you think sky. of why? Can you think of why? Can you think of a much, much brighter object that is right there where the moon is? Well, during the corona total, of the sun, which is thousands of times brighter. What you're doing right now is you're basically saying, I'm going to shine a spotlight directly into your eyes and then you tell me if you can see a firefly two centimeters to the right. Like, wh what are you talking about? Do you Steve, seriously not understand this stuff? A child can understand so, this stuff. So when you're throwing out words like spectroscopy, what's the difference uh -huh. between, between spectroscopy and astrospectroscopy? <laughs> what do you mean astro? So astro is a prefix that means stars. So if that's even a word, it's spectroscopy pertaining to stars. What are you like Googling stuff furiously over there? I'm just asking you, you know, I've, I've taken a few notes. I figured out. I watch a few of your videos. I know mm -hmm. the, the straw manning that you're going to try to do and the things that you're going to try to claim. And in reality, you know, an infrared camera, a regular camera from the space station, they should be able to see the sun, e the moon, either approach the sun, uh, eclipse the sun completely or uh, exit the sun. And nobody has ever seen it. So again, why are we looking up in the sky? When yeah, I just explained it. I just Earth? answered your question. And you just answered it again. You asked a question that I just answered. Which the is sun is very bright, right? Way, way, way brighter than Earth shine. Do you understand that if something very bright, you're looking at something very bright, you can't see something way less bright right Dave, next to when it? There's a what total, are you not getting about that? When there's a total eclipse of the sun and you have the, you know, the, the little ring around there, you can block that out. So it doesn't blind you and you still can't see it. You know what? It why doesn't block it out. The, the Corona. The sky, have you never seen an eclipse? Thing? Why are we talking? You can make a fake eclipse, right? By putting a disc in front of the sun and then looking at the Corona. And you could do the same thing with the Corona. You can block it. Why yeah, are we looking really up at bright. the lights in the ceiling that determine the shape of the floor? 
because it works really well. It's the easiest way to figure out the shape of the Earth is by looking at the celestial ob objects in the sky and recording their motion. One it's second. very, very one, easy. One second. Ash, Ash has said we've got to move on to the next talking point, which is okay. <laughs> space is not as depicted, displayed in media, movies, etc. I don't understand what the flat earther was trying to... So if you hold up something that blocks out the sun and you can still see the... How does that prove that the earth is flat? What the fuck? I don't, I don't, what argument is he trying to make? I don't like how this guy with the green mic is such a cocky fucking piece of shit. Um, like you agreed to do the debate, you know what I mean? Have some fucking respect for your fellow debatee or whatever. Um, so he's definitely being an asshole. But I mean, but what he said so far is correct. Flat Earth, Dave, eyes. do you want to start with that one? Ask the question again, please. Gamer guy, what's Space up, bro? Space is not as depicted, displayed in media, movies. Yeah, I mean, space. Obviously. Space is, they're just, you know, giving us images of, of insanity in space. Like when they show us, um, you know, nebulas. Right? They, they show us this and they tell us this is where stars are born. This is where there's gas and dust, so much of it that it's creating stars and spitting them out like ping pong balls where they go run away and they park themselves in the rest of the galaxy. This gas and dust in space. Oh, you love that about Dave that he's a fucking asshole? Hey, I could respect it, asshole. Uh, and if I knew who the other Dave was, I'd agree. All right, so this flat earth Dave is uh, deserves uh, to be treated like an asshole. All right, interesting opinion. He is making a point about these uh, images they pull up about space, though. Space in a vacuum, in zero pressure. How does that work? How come this doesn't collapse in on itself? This is just a it does. That's painting. how stars are born. Yeah, they so, do collapse. It's yeah, so, how stars form. Dave, in your world. This is gases are collapsing upon themselves and then yeah. igniting themselves in a vacuum, in a in a in a vacuum, and then they they, they burn is, no 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 stop stop they, look, look I know that you want to just spew your script without anybody challenging, but you say so many I stupid no things, script, and I'm here to tell you why everything you're saying is stupid. So when you say stars igniting in a vacuum, the reason that's confusing for you is that you think stars are little bonfires no, because you're a moron. Because no, you don't understand you, nuclear you, fusion. You nuclear is, fusion is the process by which stars glow. They're not little fireballs. And so you Dave, can learn that by Googling something for five seconds, but you don't do it. So Dave, Dave, you believe that all the rocky bits turn into perfect balls and then all of the gases somehow start getting gravity and they start pulling it together. And start they get getting big. gravity? What do you well, mean they, start they, getting how, gravity? How, how, do they, how do they grow into stars? How come the dust is accumulating? What's bringing it together? Is somebody pulling it up like a snowball? So gravity. gravity. So, yeah, so, yeah. They, they, so they get something and it's a tiny bit of gravity, pulls in some more dust. It pulls in, the, not dust, it pulls in gases. And somehow it's pulling all of these gases together and turning into a nuclear furnace that burns for billions of years. Um, I'm sorry, that doesn't make any sense. And if you okay, want to believe so, that, so, that's so, the world. so centuries of brilliant astronomers versus, no, uh, is that really all you have? Is the entire field of astronomy and you going, mm, that's, I don't like it. That's dumb. I'm dumb and I don't get it. So astronomy is wrong. That's, Dave, that's literally your argument against astronomy you, right you, now. You, you never met these men. You don't know anything about these men other than the stories that the controllers yeah. of this world tell you. You know they wrote is, books, right? Well, you know so they wrote are, books that so, we can read, and then but, we base astronomy on that and do astronomy every Dave, day. Dave, right? Dave, try not to interrupt. Aristophanes figured... All right, so he's got Pythagoras... <coughs> Sorry. Copernicus, Galileo, Newton. Who else you got on here? You're saying they were all Freemasons. Without the the shadows. Not all Freemasons are demonic. Just so you know. Eratosthenes figured out the 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 diameter, especially the, the ones the from history. The Earth with his sticks and shadows, uh -huh. but nobody in that area that came out of that other mathematicians never wrote any books about him. They ignored him. 
They just never mentioned it. And then all of a sudden it shows up in the 1900s in books okay. that go well, into the education system. that's not true. And, I mean, and, if you're just going to lie, wait, then wait, we can just and, play the lie game. And, <laughs> and Dave, what, uh, what about um, the fact that that proves nothing? It works perfectly on a flat earth. Sticks and shadows prove the earth is flat. And it proves it's a globe. But you'd have to assume parallel rays. Listen to this. Aristophanes believed that parallel rays are coming into Earth, right? And, and no one has ever seen parallel rays coming into Earth, right? When we look, when we look, we always see them curved. We always see them crepuscular. But he also believed that the Earth was geocentric and we had an infinitely far sun. And so that sun is orbiting around a, infinitely a minuscule- Infinitely far? Well, infinitely, infinitely far. far. I, I, uh, infinitely far means so far away that the rays come in parallel. And that's a whole nother problem. But how is a distant sun orbiting around a speck Earth? In the middle of uh, in the middle of um, you know, in the middle of space, that doesn't make sense. No, we're and orbiting around it. What doesn't they... make sense? What doesn't make sense about how, an Earth how... orbiting a sun? What? No, no, you, no, you no, going? No, that doesn't you didn't make hear sense. Me. Dave, isn't Dave, an argument. Dave, stop being a dick. Listen to what I said. <laughs> you stop Just, being a dick. The, the Arista Eratosthenes believed that the Earth was geocentric, that the sun orbited us, but the sun was a distant sun. How does a distant, gigantic sun orbit a minuscule, minuscule speck Earth? Well, they, okay. Yeah, you have no answer how, for that. I, they don't know. Yeah. It's the ancient Greeks. They didn't know. Now we know, right? We figured out heliocentrism in like the Wait. 16th century. His story so it was like makes, 500 his, years ago. It's a pretty long story, time. His story makes no sense. And the other question is, you believe that the sun rays that come in are parallel, right? All right, flat Earth, or that is not an argument for flat Earth. The fact that this really old dude was wrong about some shit doesn't make the earth flat. It means that he was a fucking idiot and he didn't know. He was making hypotheses and guesses on the information that he did have. He thought that the sun went around us. He's wrong. That doesn't prove a flat earth though. And apparently this flatter Dave guy created an app that cost three bucks. Now it's three bucks recurring monthly. So Twitch chat thinks he's a scammer. Uh, I don't uh, not capitalism. If he believes in flat earth and he wants to put out information about it, he should be getting paid for his work. If people want to look at the information, they should pay for the information. I don't see anything wrong with that. Oh, it took a long time for get him to get him to do this debate. You think he had to be paid to do it? Most people are paid for debates, so that's not really an issue either. Uh, but yeah, this guy's a very dismissive asshole towards him, so he probably didn't want to debate him. I would assume. Or I don't know. I'm just meeting both of these guys, so... No, there. Uh, look, there. There are rays that are parallel, and then you can actually in my uh, deep dive of flat Earth, I do recognize both of these faces, so I have seen a video at least from each of them. But I don't know anything. You can about point them. a ray from the edge, one edge of the sun, and the other edge. Look, light is going in all directions, right? Light. The sun is is expelling light. There's there's spherical waves of light, photons in every direction. Right. So, so you can you can identify parallel rays and then you can identify one from this edge. And if you want to talk about individual photons, you can. This planet's our only home, but we're not treating it that way. Green one you can draw paths from the edge of the sun going in one direction, the edge of the sun going in the other direction. You're trying to oversimplify things. You're trying to go, oh, it's it's crepuscular. It's all parallel. And so then this time it works for my talking point. And then another time it doesn't work for my talking my point. point is, my point is Aristophanes story doesn't make any sense with a distant sun orbiting a geocentric earth. He was wrong. Yeah, if you just say it doesn't make sense and stop talking. How I guess. does, how does a distant sun orbit a, a geocentric earth when the earth is tiny and the sun is gigantic? It doesn't. Well, it doesn't. In, in your Long model. story short, it doesn't, yeah. but so he why? was an ancient Greek and he no. didn't know heliocentrism. They didn't know when Newton under, when Newton developed yeah. Newton's law of universal gravitation, he didn't know why massive objects attract one another, right? He just said, this is what happens. And I have this, this equation and we use Newton's equations to do all these incredible calculations that predict the motion of objects. 
Wait, what happened? Peter Popoff? I don't even know who that is. Also shared information, and I probably think he should be paid for it. But he scammed everybody for their money. I don't understand. I don't know who that is. I don't know the situation. But what do you mean he scammed everybody? Did he offer something for sale and they bought it? How is that a scam? I don't, I don't know the situation. So I don't know what happened. Disabled people? Well, if they're disabled, that doesn't mean they're fucking retarded. It means they use a wheelchair. They can still use their brain to decide what they want to buy or not. And if they're mentally challenged, then they don't have their own money. Because you don't give retards your credit card. So, I don't get your point, bro. On Earth and in space. He didn't know what gravity was. Einstein gave a better explanation. The, the curvature of space-time warped around massive objects. We're probably going to get a better model later. Just that we don't know why things happen doesn't mean we can't do science at predictive power. So as what it turns science? out, Eratosthenes and, and Ptolemy, the Ptolemaic model, was wrong. Heliocentrum, heli heliocentric model is correct. It doesn't matter that they didn't know, that they didn't know that part or that they didn't know why something happens. Do you not understand how science works? So, so if he if he was wrong and the or, and the were uh, heliocentric, do you think his experiment proved your globe? Well, yeah, it did. All of those experiments proved the globe. Ab it just didn't have anything to do with heliocentrism. Ab it proved the not. Earth is a sphere. Absolutely not, because on a small on a with a local sun in like the flat Earth is, um, we have no shadow here and we have a shadow here, and then you could do you know your math and figure out what uh what the Oh, if you're talking about he's like one of those fake pastors or whatever ripping people off uh, using God to do it, then yeah, he's a piece of shit for sure. That's not business. That's preying on people's faith for money. Uh, that has nothing to do with business, dude. So what's the difference between flat earth and using people's faith? It's pretty fucking obvious, bro. Pretty obvious. One is an intellectual argument. The other is not. The other would be spiritual. I am a believer in God, so if you're utilizing God to profit and not to help, um, that's fucked up. That's fucked up, for sure. Um, but this guy believes in, like, traditional science. This guy believes in whatever form of science that he believes in. You know what I mean? Just like back in the day, they just said that this guy was wrong. Well, in current day, the guy on the left thinks the guy on the right's heliocentric model is wrong. They're allowed to have the debate. People are allowed to agree with this guy. People are allowed to agree with this guy after they hear the debate. I don't understand the issue or how that compares to a fucking fake preacher ripping off people selling fucking snake oil. Flat Earth is the same as God. It is a belief. Um, True. Uh, I mean, I went down the flat earth rabbit hole myself a few years ago and debunked it. I, I believe in a round earth. But since I've been streaming, I've had multiple people ask me about it. And I wanted to do it on stream to go, to go through it. This is why we're checking out stuff today. <coughs> so your argument is you think that this guy who makes money off of flat earth knows for a fact that it's a globe and is just utilizing it to make money you don't think that he is legitimate in his belief that's your that's your qualm with him i can get that 
but just like females, bro, you don't know what people think, <laughs> even though they think they do. <laughs> Vericity of this flat plane is, right? Okay. That so for that work. to work, how close is the sun? How close is the sun? How close we, is the sun? Yeah, the really sun. Really close, like the right sun. above the clouds, which Leslie's would be able to in the see building. if you went up in a plane or a balloon, you and it'd be like answer? right there. Huh? Hey, there, there, there's tons of videos explaining how the sun is an apparent object, and we all see it in a different position. Oh, there's where, videos that say there, dumb things, no, so no, it's true. That, that show science, show experiments, and when you try to triangulate the sun, um, there's a problem. You can't do it. You can't triangulate the sun. So how far the sun is, some flat earthers say it's 3,000 miles away. I don't like that answer. The math works. We can scale it and make it 6,000 miles works. away. You've never done any math in your entire life. You hey, just... Hey, Wait, your 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 tag is gamer guy, but you're a chick. Are you one of those confused weirdos or what? Say the math. Leslie's in the building. Leslie, are you a flat earther? I'm curious. Are you a flat earther as well? Stop, just stop being a condescending prick, all right? Try. Why Try don't you stop minutes. condescending to the entire human race and pretending that every scientist ever is a liar and satanic deceiver? That's much more offensive than me calling you stupid, which you Dave, are. Dave, what is the sun? What is the sun? It's a star. It's a star. It's a burning it's a star. It's, it's, a, it's a nuclear furnace that, that's working perfectly, and it's bending space time where it could hold on to all of the planets that go all the way out to Pluto. Is that is that your belief? Well, Pluto's uh, now uh, a trans-Neptunian okay. right. object. So, so we'll go but Neptune. Yes, we'll go all, yes. All right. And then, and then the, the sun's gravity ignores all of the moons because the moons are attracted to their planets, and it negates mm -hmm. the sun. That's what you believe. What do you mean negates the sun? Yeah, negates so the sun. Moons, so what you're saying is that like one of Jupiter's I'm moons should you. go flying towards the sun? Is I'm that what you're that. saying? I'm not saying that at all. I'm asking you if uh -huh. you believe that the sun's gravity has no effect on moons. Yeah, it had you. That's not necessarily a stupid question. He's saying if the sun's gravity pulls the planets towards it, or at least however much it can pull it towards it, why doesn't it have effect on the moons around the planets? Okay, that's a fair question. I'll give it to him. You can calculate, you can see, this is what real scientists and people who understand science can do calculations. So instead of you going, mm, I don't believe it, what you could do is you could take Newton's law of universal gravitation and take a moon, whatever moon, if you want to talk about our moon or one of Mars's or one of Jupiter's or whatever, and you could calculate a number that is the gravitational attraction between the sun and whatever moon you're talking about. And then you could do the same thing for the moon and its parent planet that it is orbiting. Which number do you think is going to be bigger, buddy? Which and one so, do you think is going to so, be bigger? And so the planet, have, the one that it is orbiting around. When we have a planetary alignment where all the planets are lining up, all of that gravity. Hey, hang on. You know what? Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Question, I, I would like you, like you to actually just address what I just said, because this is what happens is I say something or a flatter debunker like myself says something that just annihilates the idiotic thing you just said. And then you just gish gallop to another point. I would like you to admit that what you just said is stupid based on what I just said. Repeat what you said. I just explained to you why what you said about the sun and the moon is stupid. Well, and well, you, you just you... Yeah, he answered your question. He says, based on a mathematical formula, you can determine the gravitational pull from the sun to the moon. You can also calculate the gravitational pull from the moon to the planet. And if the pull from the moon to the planet is higher than the pull from the moon to the sun, the moon will stay around the planet. Seems like it makes sense. Jump to another talking point. Uh, uh, so you say that the gravity of the planet is holding on to these moons, yeah. and it's so much stronger. Uh, let yeah. me finish. I'm I'm reiterating what you say to show you how stupid it is. It's holding uh -huh. on to the to the planets, but the sun's gravity it can hold on to the planets, hold on to distant planets, but can't affect those moons at all. 
can't affect like i just said you can do a calculation did you want to do the calculation do you want to do it together do you want to learn something today it's called newton's law of universal gravitation do you know what is in the denominator r squared it drops off gravity drops off by the square of the distance so as things get very very far away their gravitational influence is dramatically less exponentially so so when you have a moon that is right uh, right near a planet the Go gravitational ahead. effect is way more than the far away sun isn't that neat isn't that a neat thing that we can do with math and numbers that is neato. That are real things that scientists do instead that of just is going neato. It, it doesn't make sense so that's dumb you done yeah what do you got do you want to address this thing or do you want to jump right to another thing i, I want to jump to something else because you say that the sun's gravity that can hold on to neptune and pluto can't mm -hmm. affect the moon which is way closer to it and that the earth's gravity overwhelms that that's stupid that's me saying it why you're the you're the, the, the all you're saying is that's yeah, stupid. But why is it all you're stupid? saying but, is that's and all, stupid and all why? you're saying is that it works because i could do math but it's it doesn't it doesn't work what do you mean it doesn't it, it does work because that's literally what's happening. The moon isn't being pulled to the sun. So it's clearly working because the moon is the moon is here still going around the planet. I don't what is his argument? What's stupid about it? model it yeah you ever you know about the three body problem i'm sure you know about that oh the three body problem so we can't hey, do hey, calculations stop, stop being such a condescending prick we already know <laughs> just be a just talk normal have a discussion. sorry hang on one second this is serious this private chat keeps covering this screen can this stop why is this doing this the private um, chat yeah yeah Can yeah I like <clears throat> be, i shouldn't cover the up. the chat should it just, just trying to make sure everything's all right covering the whole screen all right. Anyway, oh, I'm, hang on. I'm, I'm, yes, yes, we're sorting it out. I can't. There seems to be a problem with Sean's. I can't hear you, Sean. Oh. Yeah, that's what's that's what's going on. I've, I've been watching Sean every now and then, just chatting. Uh, you lurk the internet as a dude, so you're not harassed by dudes. <laughs> okay. That makes sense. Makes sense. away and we've not been hearing him there's tons of important snippets of information lost forever to the the ethers of the 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 internet how are you guys doing there's a lot of back and forth isn't it it's a very uh, you know dare i say it, american debate isn't it it's, it's oh. ins insults and stuff well here's the thing i would like to get off of the lights in the sky because i'd rather talk about the shape of the earth because it, they it, destroy it, the flat earth well you, you say that <laughs> But the lights in the sky have nothing to do with the flat earth. Or okay, the so they, this they was my first talking point. Were we going to do the talking points that we prepared? Because my first talking point is about this, and it is an absolute annihilation of flat earth. That's why you don't want to talk about it. That's why you say, why do we look at the things in the sky to figure out the shape of the earth? Because that's how we figured it out 2,000 years ago, by looking at the, at the stars. Can hey. I show my slide that, yeah, that shows this? Okay, it. here we go. Observation of the stars, next one. Can you uh, you're let's controlling, get into right? it? Do I just tell you when to go? <clears throat> okay, so if you're in the northern hemisphere looking at the North Pole, then hang on, all this stuff is covering. I can't even see the text. I, I think I remember what it says. Anyway, if you're looking at the North Pole in the northern hemisphere, the stars rotate counterclockwise. Go to the there next one. If you're in the southern hemisphere looking at the South Pole, the stars rotate clockwise. Next one. Why does it, how does this make sense on a flat earth? Sorry, this is a screenshot from one of my videos. So in the video, they're rotating in different directions. Why would two people on a flat pizza land look at the sky and see a sky that is rotating in different ways? Next one. Good question. And furthermore, Good why can't question. we all see the same stars? There are stars that you can only see in the northern, hem way in the, towards the northern hemisphere and stars you can only see in the southern hemisphere. Next one. These are good questions. These are good questions. This is why I couldn't stay with the flat earthers. Cause I'm like, you guys have no answers to the most basic fucking questions. I would like to hear him debunk why the stars rotate differently on different sides of the planet. 
On a globe, this makes perfect sense. If you're in the northern hemisphere, looking at the North Pole, east is to your right. If you are in the south and southern hemisphere, looking at the South Pole, east is to your left. Next one. And the reason we can't see certain stars is because you can't see through the Earth. Next one. That's why in the Northern Hemisphere, we can't see the Southern Cross. That's why in the Southern Hemisphere, we can't see Polaris. Next one. Almost done. Quick one here. So it actually gets a lot worse than that in the Southern Hemisphere because you've taken a globe and you've unwrapped it. The Southern Hemisphere makes absolutely no sense. People in the Southern Hemisphere who are all looking at the Southern Cross are somehow supposed to be, we're believing that they're all looking in completely different directions and seeing the same object often at the same time. Next one. <clears throat> Go to the next uh, slide. Or not. It might it might be that um, because Ash is doing this. Oh, has oh. he done it? Does it work? Yeah, that's it. I think okay. this is the last one. So again, on a globe, south actually means something. People who are looking south are all looking at the South Pole. They're all looking in the same direction. So that's why they all see the same thing such as an object like the Southern Cross. All right, can you go back I think to that's the, the last one? Let go, me go through the just slide. Let check if it's the next one. Yeah. Ch check if it's the last one. And if, if you can go back to the first one, that would be great. <clears throat> so in your world, we have people standing upside down and you're assuming hemispheres on a what sphere. What do you mean upside down? What do you mean well, upside down? What well, does that mean? Com com compared, their feet are antipodal to my feet, people in the South. Okay, so yours are upside down compared to them. Uh, What's the well, difference? I'm What's down I, on a globe? It, I'm not saying. I'm just saying people are upside down to each other halfway across the world. So, so if we can go back to the original slide so I can remember all the points he made so I can address them, that would be fantastic. Um, I think the issue is that Ash, the producer, is having some issues uh, with his internet and isn't, isn't <coughs> able to do it. Sorry about this, guys. Yeah, we're, we're usually yeah. quite good with the, with the tech and everything. So um, yeah, I'll try to... Uh, I can uh, tell you the points again. Uh, I, mm. I'd rather just see the points rather than hear you say them again. Okay. Um, if the, I don't know, he can't, he can't change it back. Uh, I don't, I don't think so. He's in like, you know, the Philippines or something mad like that. So he, he's having some difficulties with it. And I think Sean is as well. Good thing I'm here saving the day. Um, okay, look, but yeah, what, it was that yeah. the, in the Northern hemisphere, the celestial sphere rotates counterclockwise in the sure, okay. Southern right. hemisphere, let me, rotates let me, clockwise, let me, let me and we can't see certain stars. You don't have to do the whole presentation. You can just remind that me. That was it. Go was. ahead. So uh, no matter where you are in the world, all of the stars, uh, all the lights in the sky from the what we, things that we call planets, wandering stars, stars, sun and moon, they all rise in the east, set in the west. If, mm -hmm. I'm, if I'm standing on a flat earth, looking out to the south, the stars are coming from my left. If I'm standing in the north, looking at the north, the stars are coming from my right. That explains the opposite direction. No, then you just explained the globe model. <laughs> you didn't no, explain I didn't. anything. You, you don't how, understand. On the flat yeah. earth, how do people see the sky rotating in different directions? Because explain you're that. facing in different directions, David. <clears throat> if all the facing stars, in different directions? I, I will explain. If I'm uh, wait, wait, hang here, on. Speaking of facing in different directions, Flat Earth Day, if you're, because we've changed the angles a bit, you're a bit off the screen. There, that's it. You I, look I good got now. it. It would, it would be it would be better if you can if you can uh, make me widescreen yeah. so I can um so I can uh, show what I'm showing. But um, okay, well there you go. And I'll just say, yeah, Sean's just saying that his his thing is um freezing. So I guess he'll be back when he when he can. But uh, for now, you, let, you, so, you keep going. So on a flat Earth, if uh you have a flat Earth, north is to the center. South is every direction away from the center. So if the stars are going this way from my right shoulder to left shoulder, I'm looking at the North Star, they're going one way. When I turn around and I look at the South away from the center, they're coming from my left shoulder to my right shoulder. They just change directions, okay? There's no argument there. There's nothing to argue. that works Okay, now do clockwise and counterclockwise well, because that's matter. really what we're talking about. What do you I, mean again, it doesn't matter? Again, You're David, talking about a direction. I'm talking uh, about clockwise versus counterclockwise and, when yeah. you're looking at the poles, David, the optics the of poles. the sky. Yeah, huh? well, you, you, you say the poles. So, so getting back to your point where you have somebody in uh, Santiago, somebody in Johannesburg, and somebody in Australia, when they see the Southern Cross, well, they don't see it at the same time. They see it 12 hours apart from Santiago. They don't see it at the same time? So, uh, so people wait, looking so, south can't see the night sky at the same time? David, if you mm -hmm. understand what the Flat Earth model is, if somebody's in Santiago... You don't have a model. Listen. I'm a teacher just like you. I teach sixth grade science, and if you're anything like me, you've wasted your playing time trying to find a video for one of your lessons for you. Yeah. Stop, stop being a dick. 
Okay. You stop being a dick. Your entire existence is being a dick to all of science. (laughs) So stop telling me to stop being a dick. Keep going. Mm-hmm. So if somebody's in Santiago and it's midnight, yeah. they're looking at the, the Southern Cross. Well, somebody in Australia that's looking south, they're looking at the noon sun. You tell me how they noon see sun? the start. How the many, noon sun? How many, how many time zones apart are they? Are they 12 time zones apart? Well, at, at noon, close to noon, right? Okay. No, first of all, not close to noon, but it doesn't matter. How about you go four hours apart? Why don't you go four time zones apart? They should still be looking in completely different directions. 12, 12 midnight, 4 a.m., night sky, both looking south, both can see the Southern Cross. On your pizza world should be looking in completely different directions. Explain that. Dave, when, uh, the only time mm-hmm. that can happen is in Johannesburg and Santiago. And if you add magnetic declination in there, they're both looking in the same direction. Magnetic declination? Yeah. So, 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 so you think just saying the word magnet – is going to be an argument no, here look, that's going to work for you? Mag- look, up, look up the magnetic declinations of those areas. You don't know what direction you're facing, right? There's certain areas of Antarctica that the magnetic declination is 170 degrees. So when your compass says north is that way, it's 170 degrees the other way, according to you know Noah or whoever whoever's in charge of that, right? There, it's look, all- you can dress it up however you want. We're talking about looking this way and looking that way, and they see the same thing. And you're fixating on Santiago, Santiago and Johannesburg because you think that they're far enough apart that you're, they're not going to both be nighttime. I'm telling you, you can go any distance apart. Just go from Perth to Sydney, right? That's far enough apart that if you're both looking directly south, you're looking in different directions, and you can see the same thing. You cannot explain that. That's you why you're you trying have, to throw out jargon to confuse people. I'm not trying to throw out jargon to confuse people, David. That's exactly when you, what you're when doing. You, when you're looking, you're looking towards the same area. You, you're looking towards the, the, the same area. And but on uh, your pizza world, south is a different direction for every longitude line. Do you not understand that? On your pizza land, right, you have all these longitude lines. Directly south is towards your magic ice wall. Everybody looking Magic south is looking wall. in a different direction. Magic ice wall. Yeah. So stop trying to skip to something else, right? Are you denying that longitude lines every? All right. Do you guys understand his point there he's making, though? It, it, I don't understand why the flat earther is not getting it. If you're on a flat surface at the bottom of the pizza and a flat surface at the top of the pizza, this is pretty fucking obvious. I don't understand why he doesn't get it. Does he not want to get it? Or like you said, he's faking it for the moolah. He does get it. Take a good look at Effie Dave, because that's what a common wannabe looks like. Oh, con man wannabe looks like. (laughs) Everybody on your pizza world is all looking in a completely right. different direction and, when they and, look and south. NASA, NASA or NOAA, they tell us, you know, what longitude lines are you talking about? They're, they tell us that uh, the magnetic declination is a different direction. So we're listening. Do they or are you just randomly grasping at words to try to make sense of something that is absolutely unexplainable for you? David, it's not true. And uh, the optics in the sky, again, do not prove the shape of the earth. You say that well, they I do. just did prove they, it with should, that. So I don't know what to tell you. Let's move on. So oh, I'm sorry, do sorry guys. On? Do you want to move my, on my entire from this thing? Crashed. I want to move on from looking at the me? lights in the I sky did. to figure out. Yeah, we hear you. We hear because I more. prove <laughs> the earth is a sphere by using yeah. that. That is yeah. that why you want to move on? No, not at all. <laughs> well, said, we hear you. We don't care. It is. What, uh, what, what talking yeah. point? We, we hear what you, but we don't care. What talking point are we on right now? Uh, I just finished proving the Earth is a sphere by looking at stars, something that we've been doing for thousands of years. Yeah, so, so, so says you. Go ahead. Yeah, and everybody who's ever lived. So NASA isn't going to really help you with that one. Sorry, buddy. They started in the 1950s. Oh, All right, gosh. so we've got, we've got a, a talking point. That is true. The chat on the screen isn't updated. You've sent three comments since it's uploaded up there. Maybe it figured out you're a girl and now it doesn't like you. <laughs> My chat robot's gay. <laughs> From 
uh, thing, uh, which is the Bible has 200 references to the flat earth. Every major ancient civilization cosmology <coughs> depicts the earth as flat. That's from me or from Dave? That is I from would never you, say that. I think. That's, that's not that from me. You? That's okay. not from me. It's from Ash. It's from Ash. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the, the, if you're a Bible believer, you know, from page one in the Bible, it says God separated the waters from the waters and created the firmament. That's all interesting. But, you know, I don't use the Bible as science because science will show us on a, on a small <clears throat> earth, Dave, yep. you have to have a physical horizon, right? If my fingernail is a boat, as it goes away, it disappears below a physical horizon and zooming in will not bring it back. However, we can see too far. They say the ball is 24,901 miles around, but we can see things that are way, way, way farther. And with infrared now, we're seeing things 500 to 1,000 miles away. The amount of curvature. No, not. Know, yeah, we <laughs> are. Go, go look at Jay Tolan Media's uh, channel. Uh, oh, go amazing. look at some and, lies that a flat earther said. That is real evidence. No, it's sure. well, it's Dave. It's well documented. You haven't looked at it. And then when you say the curvature formula is a parabola, I absolutely agree. It is. Over 1,000 miles, it gets off a little bit. But anything under 1,000 miles, all three formulas come within a very close proximity of each other. Right? Yeah, but the problem is you can't do math, so you just do yeah. the math wrong. Well, you are you just say that. But if you look at all of the curvature formulas, under 1,000 miles, it's perfectly accurate. And then you think that we're spinning at 1,000 miles an hour and we don't feel it, and we're changing, you know, we're, we're changing directions. How is that possible? How about when yeah. the Earth it comes around and uh, comes around towards the sun in the winter, in our northern winter, um, it, it's speeding up and taking its sharpest turn, and then we don't feel any of the... I don't understand. The flat Earth arguments, like, they just make, like, childhood arguments, though. So you think we're spinning, but we can't feel it? Yeah, just like when you're in a car doing a hundred, you can't feel it until you slow down or speed up, and then you can feel the change in speed. But you don't feel going a hundred. It doesn't feel different than going fifty. As long as you're on cruise control and your speed's not changing, it doesn't fucking feel anything. You just you're existing at that speed. What you feel is when you slow down or speed up. That's the feeling you get. Uh, if you minimize windows, they won't get updated. Just make sure none of your captured windows are minimized. Just keep them in the background. Windows 10 or 11 does that. Uh, no, I haven't closed down any windows at all. I only have two open. The one we're watching and the streaming software that I'm staring at. But apparently it's affecting your OCD or something. So let me take it off and t and put it back on and see if that'll pop up your uh your chat. But why it's not um let me change screens and go back. That's usually when it takes it off and then people have to chat a couple more times for it to start displaying on the screen again. So I'm not sure why it stops working sometimes, but yeah, I just don't understand the flat earth arguments, Amik. I don't understand which ones you agree with, um, especially flat earth Dave is a fucking retard. Um, now I get it. The other Dave is an asshole and he's being a disrespectful piece of shit. Which is fine. Which is fine. Um, you can kind of get... I think uh, I think the Dave, the guy with the green mic, is like a real scientist. So he's very butthurt that there's so many people out there denying what he believes so firmly in. Uh, I, think that's, I think that's his big qualm. Ugh. I open the browser with the chat only and then capture that. Um, yeah, but since I stream on Twitch, Facebook, and Rumble, I'd have to have three of them open. That would My computer is not even good enough to do all that. I don't think. 
Yeah, so for Rumble, I have I have that option as well. I can screen capture um, that on a separate screen, but I think it slows down my stream. Those forces. It's sharp as turn. I don't know that to be true. I'm not technically smart enough for that. Ah, oh, see, there you go. You popped up again. See, there you go. You popped up again. I don't know why it does it. Turn. Okay, so this one's really hilarious to me. Uh, so the sun goes around the earth. Or sorry, the earth goes around the sun in how long? How long does it take? A year. A year, right? So uh, why don't you go ahead and get in a car and do a 360 turn and make it take a year? Are you going to feel that? Steve, that's not a that's not a let's fair break idea. it down 360 degrees 365 days that's about a degree a year right why don't you get in a car and drive for 24 hours and over 24 hours veer by one degree are you gonna feel that that would be equivalent to this <laughs> people say oh, I'm just why can't he answer the question though because that was classic that was classic asshole Dave that was classic right there. <laughs> we got dumb fuck Dave and we got asshole Dave. Uh, asshole Dave, um, you hit the nail on the head with that one. Streamlabs is heavy to run, but OBS is much lighter on PC. Uh, I have been told that, but... I don't know if I'm smart enough to run OBS. It seems like uh, it's a lot more technical. Um, I'm a fucking da da da. I I guess I could figure it out. I just haven't wanted to. <laughs> I was trying to think of the the, the easiest. Thing I'm just to trying to think it. of something to say hey, that Dave, will make stop sense. Stop being a dick, right? <laughs> if you're if, if, imagine you're if you want to compare oh, that. Man. If you want to compare that to reality imagine you're in an airplane where you really? move the outer shell of the airplane you double uh -huh. the speed of the airplane and you nose dive two miles a minute okay oh. and that just to follow the curve of the earth that's the speed that the earth is curving and when you have when something's moving and it's curving that's acceleration okay so oh, big just words this, just this Acceleration is a big word. Go, you know, go back well, to when it is for you because you're not using it properly. So, acceleration is rate of change in velocity. So you're using well, when it you, like when velocity, you change so off you of your vector. Means. When you change off of your vector, that force is equal to acceleration. Okay. Yeah, but I just and, told and, you, and you right? It, it takes it, a year to go around the sun. What? So, how? How much are you feeling? Do you want to calculate it? Should we calculate Dave, it together? I'm talking about the spin of the Earth. The okay. spin of the Earth. The spin of the Earth. Right? You're dropping. The spin of the Earth is constant. Two miles a minute. You do not feel. You're, you're falling, like, if you take a point in space and you go... Hey, da 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 I love it. Ain't never heard it, but put quite that way before. Oh, what? A da 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 da, -da. <laughs> uh, I do that to make fun of my kids when they're retarded. They go, what's wrong? da da, -da. <laughs> They fucking hate it. Uh, I find it hilarious, though. <laughs> Uh, uh, I am a round earther. I went in the flat earth debate a while ago and found it to be retarded. Um, but people hit me up. They say, I need to believe it. I need to be open-minded. I need to look at some stuff. So that's why we're doing the deep dive today. That's, that's why we're doing the deep dive today. And asshole Dave over here is really putting dumbass Dave, uh, in his place. And, um, it's kind of not fair. It's kind of not fair. But shout out to the Rumble Chatters getting involved. We appreciate it. Go for an hour. You're falling at the same rate as a skydiver free falling. Okay? That's ridiculous. Sorry to pause back to back like that. But do me a favor, everybody. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the share. All that good stuff. It all helps. We appreciate it. Ridiculous. Right, you are yeah, curving see, off of your line of uh, your trajectory. This You're one, curving. I, this one, I figure, I think I figured out, and I think this one is genuine confusion on on your part. So I don't, I don't want to hold this one against you as much as other lies you tell, which are just blatant lies. <laughs> this one is just you not understanding. You're you're trying to compare motion within the atmosphere of the Earth. So you're like. 
oh my gosh, something going through the atmosphere so fast and it's crazy and we feel it versus motion in frictionless space. Do you not understand that that's not the same thing, right? There's the atmosphere on earth is very thick. There's a lot of friction, right? So when you try to move through air, there's friction and you matter. feel it. It doesn't matter. What do you if mean it doesn't is, matter? It, if that air is spinning with the earth, which you have to believe in your model. Um, you would feel doesn't that, matter. It, you would feel that motion. If you're in an airplane, why would you, would you feel the motion? Why would you feel the motion? Because you're changing. Because your your energy is changing directions, and you would have your energy is changing, so changing wait, directions. What about eclipses, guys? Hold, what about hold eclipses? Hold on, That's my third gotta, talking point. I hope we get to it. Let's finish this point. Um, the your mainstream science says that because of the spin of the Earth because of the centrifugal force that the water bulges at the equator 14 miles high. What? This is what Neil deGrasse Tyson and science tells us about the spin of the earth. The water no, at the doesn't. equator. Yes, it does. It bulges no, it 14 doesn't. miles high. It makes the earth 29 miles wider at the equator. No, no. <laughs> That's the earth, not the water. What are you talking about? Are you so, a moron? So, so, Dude, the, the equator. All right, my bad. My wife came in, distracted me a little bit there. But um, yeah, so you're saying everybody was has been waiting for this debate for a while because uh, dumb fuck Dave doesn't like to talk to people because it makes them look dumb. And asshole Dave's going so hard because he's been waiting so long uh, to debunk dumb fuck Dave. Have any of these people been on an international flight where you can see the curve? I don't think that that's actually true. Do any planes fly high enough where you can see the curve? I don't know if that's actually true or not. But I personally have not been on an international flight, no. The, the, the radius... The, this is this is what happened. You're very confused. So let me ask the, you a question, the, no, 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 stop, because you just said a very specific number, and I know why you said that number. The diameter of the Earth is about 27 miles greater at the equator. That's the whole Earth. You're trying to pretend that it's all water, that there's just this big thing so, of water that's 14 miles? Is that what you're so, genuinely trying to say? So, Are you that so, stupid? It, well, that's what Neil deGrasse Tyson says. But let's no, just say, he didn't I'll, say I'll, that. I'll go with you. I'll go with you. The Earth is bulging. So does that yeah. mean that water, large bodies of water at rest near the equator, if you hung a plumb line over it, that it wouldn't be perpendicular to the to the surface of the water? It would be off just a little bit because of that bulge? Or does Why, gravity what, well gravity what is the, gravity what does the bulge of the equator have to do with the water? Well, the because the gravity pulls everything to the center of the earth in yeah. your all world. And if we have a bulge at the equator, a plumb line, which should be vertical. Um, it should be perpendicular to the water, would not be perpendicular to the water because the water Why? would be sloping away because we have a bulge. What you do you mean sloping away? Up. Okay, a bulge isn't, first of all, you're, uh, as I just said, this has nothing to do. Yeah, a bulge doesn't have a fucking tip to it. It's like if you hang a fucking thing right at the tip, it would be going, bro, the bulge, there's no like, it doesn't meet at a point and I don't even, I don't, I don't, I don't do know. with the water. It's the shape of the earth itself. So you're just completely wrong anyway. <clears throat> but second of all, what, what, this is the thing with you guys. You think that the curvature of the earth is supposed to be, you're talking about a plumb line. Do you think that the curvature of the earth is supposed to be like this or something? Do you have no idea how big the earth is? Do you not understand yeah. that the curvature is not detectable at the surface of the earth? It's really well, but, big. But, but it's a really big go over the horizon. We can see both huh? go over the horizon. We can see both go over the horizon, but we can't see the curve. Right, Dave. According Correct. to your math, there's certain things that should be behind a curve at certain distances, but we can yeah, see they, far. We but, can see no, far. but we can't. You just lie about them. You just you said earlier that we can see things a thousand miles away. Are you out of your mind? Everybody should be able to take a telescope then and see something a thousand miles away. Why Dave, can't they? Dave, you don't know where it was taking it from. It, it's infrared cameras. Go look at JTOL and Media One oh. and, and watch all of the. He He's the special one. He can do it. No. All right. What did he say right there? J Tolan Media One. Hold on a second. We're not going to watch it right now, but I might want to watch it afterwards. J Tolan Media One Infrared Camera Flat Earth. All right. We typed it into the iPad, so we have it. 
Nobody else can do it. Actually, Nobody no, else other, can other get this can uh, footage. So, oh, but they don't. Dave, let me they, ask you a question. They just don't because they don't feel like it. Is, is, do you believe that the ground is horizontal? <laughs> it's, it's almost perfectly horizontal, yes. Okay, are, are horizontals parallel? <laughs> If you okay, all that video is already deleted. I think what you're trying to ask is if you have parallel planes, right? If you have two two flat planes, can they be made parallel? Yes, two flat planes can be made parallel. Well, what are you saying? Because nobody has what I'm saying. What you're saying? If you have a horizontal line on Earth, then there's only one point that would be touching the Earth, and the rest would just rise up into space. But all horizontal lines line up with the horizontal horizon. <coughs> okay, they're all parallel. Yeah, do right? they, or do they just look like that because your eyes suck and they can't dis they can't they can't distinguish between uh, arc seconds of angle? All right. Well, let me let me phrase looking this way. looking so, like it perfectly overlaps doesn't mean that it perfectly overlaps. Oh my God, right? Just because the horizon only, looks only, flat seven, doesn't mean left. it's perfectly I flat. Seven minutes left, guys, to move on to eclipses. Eclipses. Ten minutes left. I didn't even get oh. to do all my. I did one of my things. <laughs> it could I be thirteen a, minutes. My my let's, question is: the top of the World eclipses. Trade Towers when they were up, are those floors larger than the lower floors? Because for them to be perpendicular, they would have to get larger right how far apart were they how far apart were the towers i don't know but i'm asking you about one tower okay but it doesn't matter. look you're okay it doesn't matter we're talking about the distance between the towers or the width of a tower do you know how much curvature there is over such a small distance it is so small that it is 100 percent negligible what are you not understanding about that our, the our earth is really big so so you do you believe that horizontal lines are parallel if you make them pair. Oh, so you're saying in that video, he actually found the curve with the experiment. So they deleted the footage. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Parallel. What are you talking about? I'm talking about <laughs> horizontal lines on earth. When you're, you know, surveying the land and you have a horizontal line, another one, another one, another one, are they parallel? If you make them parallel, what, the, the, they're not lines, right? They're not actual lines. Do you know that lines are just approximations, right? We can draw lines. We can graph lines and do math in perfect Euclidean geometry. The earth has a spherical surface. So yeah, we can go, that's a line and that's a line. And if we're just looking at less than a mile, yeah, it looks really straight, but it's not because the it, earth is a sphere. Has, so has any, you're has, not comprehending scale. That's has the problem. anybody measured curvature in large body of water at rest? You know, large <clears> body of water needs a container to hold it in place. And has anyone measured any curvature on resting water? And don't tell okay. me the, the, your, your drop and your wave, which is in your stupid video. They got 10 million views. Um, drop that's, and that's, wave? That's, I don't even know what you're talking about. You talked about water curves. And you showed a drop of <laughs> oh, water. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wave. Okay, no, I know what you're that, talking about. That, that is just a complete straw man. Well, it's sentence. not. But but actually, this is what's funniest to me, is that you're flatter. You debunk yourself with this level Let's water go, thing. Ted. Because the funny thing is that... Uh, so tides exist, right? And so on your little pizza world, tides are these little mounds of water that kind of travel around. I don't really know how else you're going to explain this, but uh, right, you, tides exist, right? Yeah, they do, but they don't correlate uh. to the sun and the moon. They're, they're, it's, there's, there's stop, no stop, 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 yeah. stop, stop. No sun and the moon. No sun and moon. There are the, uh, the, 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 the water levels go up and down, right? And in different places, not everywhere at the same time, right? Yeah, so on your little pizza you, world, you you've got a little mess. Hold on. You, you've got a little mound of water that's just kind of traveling around. So I'm sorry, but water isn't level on your pizza world either. Dave, what causes your high tides? The moon? Gamer guy. Tides, the moon yeah. and, the, well, there's so. We appreciate you as well. Why it took you so long to subscribe, we don't know. I'm just saying. Polar <laughs> tides and there's lunar tides. Right. And so when there's a new moon, which means the sun and the moon yeah. are on the same side of the earth, the tide should be bigger, but there's not. There's bigger tides when they're no, opposing. No, it is. No, they're not. No, no, it is. You're absolutely wrong. No, I'm not. And you right. can go. All right. So apparently a meek really wants to hear the water stuff. And honestly, I wasn't paying attention at the beginning of that. Uh, somebody's texting me about buying the car. Um... 
Yeah, we got bills to pay, folks. We got bills to pay. So if you would like to help out with that, we would appreciate it. We take dollars. Send me a dollar. We'd appreciate it. We're poor. Um, all right, I'm gonna back it up just a little bit. I want to hear what they started with. So to drop a <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, okay, no, I know what you're talking that, about. That, that is just a complete straw man. Well, it's sentence. not, but but actually, this is what's funniest to me is that your flatter you debunk yourself with this level water thing because the funny thing is that. Uh, so tides exist, right? And so on your little pizza world, tides are these little mounds of water that kind of travel around. I don't really know how else you can explain this, but uh, right, tides exist, right? Yeah, they do, but they don't correlate to the sun and the moon. They're, they're, it's, there's, there's stop, no stop, 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 yeah. stop, stop. No sun and the moon. You're asking, are large bodies of water flat or rounded? Um... At any distance, we would be able to see they would be flat. But yes, it's rounded if you're talking about from the coast of China to the coast of California. It would be rounded. Yeah. No sun and moon. There are the, uh, the, 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 the water levels go up and down, right? And in different places, not everywhere at the same time, right? Yeah, so on your little pizza you, world, you you've got a little mess. Hold on. You, you've got a little mound of water that's just kind of traveling around. So I'm sorry, but water isn't level on your pizza world either. Dave, what causes your high tides? The moon? What causes tides? The moon yeah. and, well, there's solar tides and there's lunar tides. Right. And so when there's a new moon, which means the sun and the moon yeah. are on the same side of the earth, the tide should be bigger, but there's not. There's bigger tides when there are no, it is. No, they're not. No, no, it is. You're absolutely wrong. No, I'm um, not. And you right. can Google it right now. What are yeah. you talking about? When the solar and lunar tides align, that's the highest tide. Right, guys. We got, just... we got... Eclipse surfing is a thing, bro. This is a thing. I'm saying it's been... not because you're <laughs> just lying. I'm being put, pushed by Ash to say to move on to oh. day slash night regions of illumination. Okay. Right. What does that mean? Oh well, that's that's my second thing. I can try. I'll do. I'll do it super fast. I'll do it as fast okay. as possible. Go on. Do you need? Do you need him to put the thing up? The, the yeah. Yeah, he might not be able to do that. You know, Sean, what are you thinking? The system has crashed. That's why I got kicked off. <laughs> uh, I mean, I can try to. I mean, you kind of need the visual, but I mean, I can just. I'll wing it if you guys want. Please wing. We him. don't. We're not going to get I the slides. So. Yeah, okay, yeah, so sorry about that. Um, so this is the funny thing about your pizza world is that, uh, in the Northern hemisphere, things are kind of okay. Not really, but in the Southern hemisphere, it all goes to crap. And so to try to explain night and day and seasons, which you absolutely cannot do, uh, you try to make the sun go way out towards the bottom and you think that works because it makes it, uh, the longer nights, right. Uh, up in the North. But, uh, the problem is in the Southern hemisphere, everything is terrible because you've got the sun way out towards the edge. And uh, therefore, it shouldn't be able to illuminate very much of the Earth. But in the Southern Hemisphere, in like December and January, you've got regions like, uh, you know, towards the southern ends of those continents that are, are almost day, almost all day. So you've got you know, 19, 20 hours of daylight. So you've got this sun that's traveling around way out towards the edge because this is how you like to do it. Uh, and it is somehow illuminating almost all of the outer regions of your pizza world. Uh, and yet it is somehow not illuminating the center because areas towards the North Pole have 24 hours of night uh, at that time. So unfortunately, you can't do the like. Good argument. That is a good argument. Where are you from? I uh, live in Arizona currently, if that's what you're asking. Um, what is this chat? Ireland here. Shout out to Ireland. Welcome. That's my homeland. I'm a McClure. An Irish McClure. Um, but one of this chat that just popped up on screen, uh, that says Professor Dave's attitude towards that liar is justified. Um, is that a really old chat that just popped up? That doesn't make sense. Oh, there it is. 
That's weird. It popped up in a different order on my thing. All right, whatever. My bad. Back to the video. Real, so the South Pole, the, so the uh, that's not a thing. Uh, these are places where we people don't say live. Antarctica and, uh, is not real. We don't say that. That is fact. So when you argue with someone who's lying to you, definitely get upset. I host a shit talking stream on this commie app called Bego Live uh, late at night when I upload and stuff. And I have debates with black supremacists over there who are fucking retarded. Um, and it, it's extremely frustrating because they're just dumb as shit. Yeah, the YouTube chat lags with Streamlabs. Yeah, and the Twitch chat is kind of uh, on point. This is true. This is true. Not at all. You say no, that. you say the South Pole isn't real. We don't. We, Even we, though there's people who go there and work there. and People work at the South Pole. Yes. Yeah, yeah prove it. OK, so the, you the can get that, a job there. Did you know that civilians so, can get jobs? So, so the way it you, should, works, you should apply for one. I think that'd be a cool video for you to Dave, do on your on your upside down world on your ball world uh, in the north uh, Norway in northern Alaska. We have the 24 hour sun in June. OK, and we see the sun and it's been filmed by millions of people. Um, mm -hmm. And you can watch the sun circle around. Makes perfect mm -hmm. sense on a ball. Makes perfect sense on flat earth. We're on the same page there. But 12 months, yeah, six, months really, but six months later. Too. Six months later, at equal yeah. southern latitudes, you should see the same. But there's no video yeah, you of do. the. No, no, you don't. There's no video of the 24 hour sun. There's three or four fake videos, yes. clearly fake, <laughs> taken apart. I'm talking, right? I didn't interrupt <laughs> you. And, uh, and there's no 24 hour sun. The sun antarchs away from you, it comes towards you, and it goes away. Okay. Unlike the Arctic, where it's circling around, I'm still talking, okay? And there's no 24 hours of daylight. But if you add a dome in there, and again, we're looking at the lights in the sky, which is something that doesn't prove either. Um, when you bring the sun closer to the dome, it wraps around. And we could show you this, you know, get a dome, get a glass, move the light, and you'll see that the light wraps around. And that's exactly what we see in Antarctica. Okay, so I know that you can do your fun little middle school science project where you have a little, uh, you know, serving tray thing and you make a flashlight do funny things, but you cannot make it actually. So this is why you have your dumb little app your little thing and your sun and stuff, it doesn't actually show the regions of actual daylight and, and nighttime. It just shows like a little cartoon. You don't actually see, it doesn't actually do these patterns. So when you're called out on this, instead of going, oh, my app shows the actual patterns and this crazy arc that would that would make sense. So uh, first of all, I'm sorry, even though the, there are videos at the South Pole, I'm sorry that Antarctica is not where a bunch of people live. So we don't have all of these videos like we do way up it towards the North Pole. But again, as I said, it, you know, the way so southern region of, Anta of, of, uh, of Argentina, like I did in my video, Ush Ushaya or whatever it's called. Which, uh, cartoon do you like, which cartoon do you like the best showing Antarctica? What do you mean, which cartoon? Which cartoon? There's no pictures of Antarctica from space. Okay, well, there are, so that's really dumb. But no, let me continue not. demolishing. Okay, stop. I'm going to continue demolishing the idi idiotic thing you just said uh, earlier. So you can do your little thing. Flat Earthers love to do their little middle, middle school science projects. So hey, you've got the thing and blah, blah, blah. So why can't your Flat Earth app do it? Why can't you actually show the regions of day and night? Why can't you look at that and go, yeah, look at that. I see the light illuminating this part of the, of the, of the Flat Earth. Right. And I can see that we have 20 hours of sunlight in in uh, in southern Argentina. And I can see that you just have a little cartoon doing nonsense. And then all of your idiot people who buy that thing, they're not like, oh, that looks cool. And they don't actually look at what it does at all. Right. Why can't you why can't you have it show that? Right. It, it shows uh, pretty accurately the amount of day and night. And but I can't no, show it, it. Well, I can't show it because the far the, if on the latitude line that you're on. Um, it's different where you are. So I have to kind of blend them together. It's just a tool to show the amount of day and night depends. The, the amount of day and night that objectively happens in a place depends on your latitude. Absolutely. hundred percent on your ball too. When I'm in the North, uh, you know, <laughs> I don't think you winter, understand. It, I don't no, think no, you understand no, no, what I just it, said. No, no, you don't understand what I just said. So no, I it, definitely so, know that you're not saying anything. I'm saying that in, in that town in Argentina, there is an objective time where the sun rises and sets yes, and where it, you are doesn't there, change that. There's no place that you have 17 hours of sun. You have daylight. Daylight is the illumination of the sky. It's not the sun from and the sun. No, the sun. Is You're saying that daylight is not from the sun. Absolutely. 
So if, if the sun where is it from? It's making the sunlight then. I'll, All right. To defend the dumb fuck, Dave, on this one a little bit, I think what he's saying is the sun doesn't have to be visible in the sky for the sky to be lit up. I think that's what he's trying to say. Is that the sun isn't physically visible above the horizon, but that the sky can still be lit up. I think that's what he's trying to say. I mean, his fucking argument is dumb as shit. Um, but this is what he's trying to say. No, no. The sun is, uh, is lighting up the sky. It's like uh -huh. a photographer. You have your main light, and then you have your backlight. The sky is the daylight. When the sun is on the east side of your house, right on the horizon, go to the back side of your house. You can read the newspaper. Well, where's that? That sunlight's not, what's it going through your house? It's lighting up the sky. It's and scattered by atmospheric particles. That's what that's It's what still you say. sunlight. Yeah. Well, that's what you say to say well, a thing well, that Dave, explains why come, what I just said is too good and I have no come, way to combat it. How come nobody has filmed the 24-hour sun in Antarctica? They have. You I just mean, say it's a lie. No, they I'm have and you it, just go, it, oh, that's it, fake. Yeah. No, we don't. We don't just go, oh, that's fake. We but show But guess you how what? It's fake. That's why in my video I don't talk about Ant about Antarctica because no. you just say it's fake. That's why I picked southern Argentina because people live there and they have 19 hours of daylight and you can't explain it because it's I, this I did huge. It. You we, can't no, you didn't. It. You just said Absolutely. there's a glass thing in the flashlight. You're just right. doing a middle school science project. You're not actually explaining anything. <laughs> You're just going, oh, I did a thing in my living room, so all of science is wrong. That's what you're doing. You don't. The globe, the I wish I had the slide because the globe. Dave, the optics of the sky mm. are no way to prove the shape of the earth. You can. You well, can, they are. Yeah. Well, and I just did world. it twice. Yeah. Well, keep, and you keep, have no way to combat it. anything I just it, said. So it, that's it, why you it. say that thing over. Can I just in, in, interrupt here? Flat, flat Earth, Dave. What, what what would it take? Because I think um, Dave is saying that you know people live in Ushuaia and that planes. Multiverses. Uh, they have this, and you could just go and ask the people. Yeah, why can't why can't he argue that though? Like according to your theory, this place should not have sunlight for nineteen hours, and yet it does. So just explain why. Although you could go. What, what would it take to convince you, and how important? Is it why is it important to you to hold this belief? What does it mean not, to you? It's not important to hold the belief. I'm looking for the truth. And if the if the <laughs> if the if the globe was true, then when in Antarctica in the in December, you should be able to see the sun circle all the way around without dropping. And you do. You can. Uh, Dave, I've seen no, loads of documentaries you, where that you, happens. You can't. You cannot see it. It's absolutely untrue. And we show the the, the the best one that they have, they show a 24 hours of the sun going around. And when it comes around, not only is it the same clouds, the sun is in a completely different position, like months different position. So it's all camera trickery and it's provable. It's not just us saying it. So when you watch- No, it is like, just oh, you saying it. Yeah, well, I'm not true. And I do some research, yeah. Dave, and then uh, get out of your little ball model and, and you'll you'll see. We don't mm. live upside down on a space ball flying through an- Down is towards field. the center of the earth. Nobody is upside down. That's one of the dumbest things you morons say. Down yeah. is towards the center of the earth. Nobody yeah. is upside so down. On your world, there's people upside down relative to me. And you're upside down relative to them. It's a yeah, sphere. That, that, Who cares? Good luck with that. Good luck with that. Good. Your response to basic shapes is good luck with that. Yeah. Are you five mean? years old? You have the intellect of a five year old. You can't understand hey, like little hey, kids understand this stuff. You I, know that? I just want to say that you're more of a condescending prick than I thought. You well, you I, I wouldn't say you're more than anything. I thought I know what you are, but uh, I'm sorry again to reiterate reiterate for the third time. Your entire identity is based on the the idea that all the scientists in the entire world nope. are lying deceivers. Nope. So you're true. a condescending nope. douchebag. That's what you said. And me That's calling you, you stupid, which you are, is does not hold a candle uh, to right, what John. you are. That's what he claims. <laughs> I don't believe that. Um, and well, that's what, I've, that's got, what you're I've got another question for other Dave, oh. Professor Dave. Um, yeah. Just, but you do believe that all scientists are dumb and lying, because all of their science and math and everything is based off of a spherical world. So if we're not actually in a sphere, then none of their science works.
Uh, he's saying, like you said, it's not direct sunlight, it's reflection of the light. Yeah, but these guys are repeatedly saying over and over, there's footage of Argentina 24-hour sun. We're going to go look one up right now, as a matter of fact. So, obviously, I can see... I'm Here, let's take a break. We'll take a break. Let's see. Let's see. 24-hour sun in Argentina. Antarctica, 24-hour sun. Alaska. Oh, he said it was a 19 hour sun. I don't know why it's blocked over with some Spanish shit. Alright, well we can't read this one because they keep putting some fucking gibberish over it. All right, we'll I look mean, it up it, in a it minute. It means a lot to you as, as, on, on the other side, of course. Why does it annoy you so much, the Flat Earth stuff? Because it's so – I mean, first of all, a lot of what I do uh, – I mean, I do mainly academic tutorials, but I also address misinformation. I'm very passionate about uh, public science literacy and science denial. And Flat Earth is the bottom of the barrel. So Damn. I go after, like, anti-vaxxers and stuff like that, and that is a little more oh. sophisticated. And you have to actually understand a little bit of biochemistry, a little bit of immunology and things like that. I'd love to hear this asshole go after anti-vaxxers, bro. With your science that doesn't exist because they're not tested. Flat Earth is the only one. I just proved the Earth is a sphere multiple times in this exchange based on looking at things in the sky and that thinking. You did. That's hey, how we figured out the Earth is a sphere two th several thousand years ago. It's like the first thing we figured out. Hey, so a, this is why it's so offensive, because it is a denial of literally all of science. Astronomy, all wrong. Geology, all wrong. Physics, all wrong. It's so unbelievably offensive to the entire human race. That's why you're a douchebag and me calling you stupid has is nowhere near the magnitude of douchebaggery that is your entire identity. Hmm. You're talking so, to him, damn. not me. Sorry, not yeah, <laughs> to Davey Boy over there. So, so he believes that scientists that he never met 2,000 years ago proved that the Earth is a globe, when in reality, in the 1940s and 50s and up to the early 60s, they were still teaching flat Earth in no. school here. No, absolutely. they weren't. That's absolutely. just the thing you're saying. That's an absolute There's absolute. globes from hundreds and hundreds of years ago. You he thinks they were teaching flat earth in school in the 50s? The fuck is he talking about? You can't just say that. Like, yeah. you show me something. Show me a textbook. You can't just say, oh, this thing I made up is true. You're an idiot. What are you talking about? We've known the Ptolemaic model, which was reign supreme from like, you know, 100 or whatever, to, to the Copernican model, used a spherical Earth. Geocentrism used a spherical Earth. And then Copernicus and Kepler happened. And they wrote books, by the way. They wrote books, and you can read them that uh, they exist. Can I and we've that? known about heliocentrism for 500 years since. So I don't know what you're talking about. You are completely pulling that out of your ass. Can, Nobody can, uh, taught a flat earth anywhere for we, any measurable amount of time. Can we um, Can we have Dave uh, tell us how seasons happen on, on the globe? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I wish I had the graphic because it really works really well. So there's a tilt in Earth's rotational axis, right? Mm -hmm. It's tilted like this. So one of the hemispheres is is exposing more of it itself to the sun right and so you get more direct light versus so let's say this is the northern hemisphere this is the southern hemisphere 
more of the southern hem uh, the northern hemisphere is exposed to direct sunlight so you have longer daylight right so it's so hard to just do uh, in my hand like this no, no, I, I get it but, I, I i understand yeah. you got it, it, it when we're tilted towards it the sunlight's hitting direct and it's war it's it's more intensified here and down here all right on a quick search according to the world atlas there are nine places on the earth where the sun never sets norway alaska Russia, Finland, Sweden, England, Greenland, Canada, and Antarctica. So I would assume that there's also video from all these places of the sun not setting. We can look up later. Here it's spread out more. Makes sense. I yeah, because it. of the curvature, so it has I to spread it. out around okay. around a greater area. But isn't the sun so large that all of the the rays leaving the sun are parallel? And and how would why wouldn't the parallel rays that are a little off to the left, you know, hit us direct? Are are the are the rays leaving the sun parallel? Or are they leaving not parallel? Okay, when you have a, they're parallel. When you have a certain of, further. Okay, here's a lateral distance. If the sun is directly hitting the the part of the earth is directly facing it that's a certain area then if you move this way we have the same lateral distance but there's a lot of curvature here it's covering a greater surface area uh, so I have right question. so so can the earth the earth can okay do you want to admit that i just explained that perfectly and that I, your talking I, I, point I, was invalid i know I, I admit that you explained that perfectly but i have okay, to ask great. a question so we have the pole here and we tilt we tilt the earth okay mm -hmm. and can you tilt the earth this way that's a tilt also, right? Absolutely. What you, what? If if, You're just turning no, it. What are you doing? No, no, no. What I'm showing you is here. Here, we <coughs> let's say the sun is over there, and we tilt, and we're now directly towards the, we have a more direct angle. We're in mm -hmm. agreement on, on this. But if I'm here, and I tilt it this way, well, now the sun is lower. It's, it's again, it's now skimming. It's now skimming, and it, it's not hitting as direct. So here's the problem with your season. In the north here, in December, when we're three million miles closer to the sun, but we'll just ignore that because it's not sig significant. Yeah, it's um, not significant, it's not so significant. I don't know why I'm, you said I'm, it. I'm, well, we're three million miles closer. At sunrise, in, uh, no, in, in December, at, um, at noon, when the sun is 50 degrees in the sky, and I look at the sun, I can't feel, the, I can barely feel it on my face. I, I can't get a tan, right? But in June, when we're farther away from the sun, doesn't matter, and at sunrise, when the sun is literally an 89 degree tilt, the worst possible angle, as soon as it shows up on the horizon, I can feel the heat and I can get a tan. Why is that? Because in your world, it should be arctically freezing every morning in the all year long. I in genuinely have no idea what you're saying. You're throwing yeah, around you, 89 you, degree. I have no I, idea what I, you're I, talking about. Okay, so you have the, you have the, the sun here, right? The sun and we're, we're tilted, so it's 34 degree tilt. Well, if I tilted it all the way down to the horizon, so I'm here and the sun's over here, okay, that's an 89 degree tilt, one degree off the horizon, right? Any farther mm -hmm. would be below the horizon. The sun's I'm already it's, lost. I have no idea what you're saying. It's because you're stupid, Dave. Right? Five minutes no, left, guys. Because you're not Five saying minutes. anything. I, so I you're just going, if it tilted this I way, I this has nothing again. to do with anything. If the earth is tilted 34 degrees, that's it's how we are. 23 degrees, something 20, like that. 23 degrees, whatever. If we tilted it 90 degrees, the sun would set. I would set over the pole, which doesn't happen. What? So the five, farther, five minutes the, left, guys. Five minutes the left. Farther, the <clears throat> farther I tilt it, the more spread out those rays are. Well, the spin is the equivalent to the tilt. So when the sun is, when I'm spinning away from the sun, the sun's getting lower and lower and lower. It's spreading out across the, across the world. It should get colder and colder and colder because that sun is what spreading do you out. Mean spreading across? You understand that there's always a face of the earth. There's always, the sun I'm, is always a, is hitting half of the earth. Not, not according to time and date, all right? But that, that's the sun other... isn't always hitting half of the earth? On the ball, it would be, but it doesn't. Yeah. That's not, that's not well, it saying. does, but, though. Hey, so what thing. are you talking David, about? David, you're not listening. Okay? But it does, though. I am. You're tilt, just not saying tilt, anything. I can tilt. So if, we were, if we're tilted away from the sun, we have our winter. Now, I tilted farther. It gets really cold because Antarctica or the Arctic is tilted farther away. That's why it's cold in your world. 
right? But it's it, not. What do you mean if if we tilt it further? It's not tilted further. It's we, it's a twenty three degree right. axial and, tilt. And, so what do you why, mean tilt it further? What are you talking it, about? Why is it colder in the Arctic in the winter than it's cold than it is in Florida in the winter? I just explained it earlier. Well, well, I, I the, know. I, Dave, it's getting I, I, more direct sunlight. Uh, if absolutely, the, absolutely. So don't interrupt. On, if so, the, t look, if the Dave, axis is tilted away, then it is. Dude, I just Dave, explained this. Dave, How do you not get this? No, no, no. You're not getting it. Listen. Okay, so you can just say that, but I actually no, no, explained I, it. You're, you're not getting this. Okay, Dave, <laughs> Dave, no, Dave, no, we've, run out, let, Dave we've I, run out of time. We've run out I'm, of time. No minutes. Listen, well, I'm just going to let you guys tell the viewers where they can find you and support you. So, Professor yeah. Dave, we'll start Dave, with you. You Huge don't thank get you for it. coming on, Professor Dave. <laughs> thank can you. you. Tell, can you tell the viewers where they can find and support you, please? Flatter Professor Dave, Dave explains. Flatter oh, sorry. Dave so, Professor Dave, go on. Uh, and uh, what socials do you want, Professor Dave? Just YouTube channel, Professor Dave explains. All right, so. Professor Dave's YouTube channel link will be in the description box below this video if you want to subscribe, if you want to check his stuff out. Huge thank you for coming on. Flat Earth Dave, do you want to tell the viewers where they can find you? You can find me at flatearthdave.com, but I'm thinking of make it, making it professorflatearthdave.com. <laughs> Flat flatearthdave.com because Isn't you know, cute? We, we get to make up to being professors. That's always nice. Yeah, I actually Flat taught at an accredited university though, so it's not that weird. Thank you. Without a degree, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Multiple they degrees. Hired. I have a master's degree. And they fired you. Dave, uh, can I get those bitcoins? Can I get those bitcoins? We've got another globe. debate. We've got another debate coming up in All a right, minute. Guys. So huge thank you guys. Yeah. Uh -huh. Take care and you will right, always buddy. to come back up. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Cheers. Right. Cheers. Yeah. Goodbye. Good night. Goodbye. Goodbye. Wow. Oh, wow. They make for a nice couple, don't they? <laughs> okay. Interesting debate. Interesting debate. Flat Earth guy did not make any fucking points, though. He didn't make any points. I don't know. Firmament is just a word from the Bible. I don't know if it has an actual... I don't know if it's, like, been defined or what have you. Ugh. Pardon me. Pardon me. Um, so very interesting debate. I'm definitely not a, a flat earther now after that debate. Um, but what I did want to look up is. He said something about. Now, somebody said the video is deleted, but I'm going to I want to look for it and see if we can still find it. Infrared horizon from 33,000 feet. Yeah, 33,000 feet is not high enough to see the curvature of the Earth. From my understanding, the Earth is too big for that. Um... Now, the best argument the flat earthers have is the fact that NASA's full of shit and we didn't go to the moon. I don't even know why they didn't talk about that. I don't believe that we went to the moon. I don't believe that to be a thing. I still believe the earth is round. That he referenced here, it doesn't exist. His video does not exist that he referenced about infrared cameras... Being able to see a thousand miles. That's what he said, right? A thousand miles. Proving the world is flat. All right. So we should have watched at least one pro flat earth video and see what they're saying. It's time right? to improve your writing game with Grammarly Go. Grammarly Go is an AI service that see if I have a way to one debunk any of this guy. Once and for all prove whether the earth is flat or not or I'll not explain it all coming up Ugh. all right so maybe it's not a flat earther hey maybe 74 crew welcome earther. back if you don't know me my name's kelsey i'm a 747 pilot my channel 74 gear is all about aviation i get asked almost on a daily basis in the comment section here on youtube or on my instagram something along the lines of this is the earth flat tell me the truth why are you lying about the earth being flat or not? 
And it's surprising to me because I've watched some videos about people who believe the Earth is flat. I, I have some time sometimes on these 15 hour flights during my rest period. I, I watch a lot of stuff on YouTube or Netflix. Anyway, I watch a lot of that stuff and I found it interesting to find out that there were some famous and very wealthy people who believed that the Earth was flat. What he basically said is that he's not really a pilot during these 15 hour flights. He just sits there and watches YouTube. The, the planes pretty much fly themselves. At one time, Shaq, as you guys all know, thought that the Earth was flat, and then he said it was a joke. I don't know. Kyrie Irving apparently is somebody that believes that the Earth is flat. I don't know if it's an NBA thing. Either way, I get asked about it all the time, and I thought, I you know, know what? It's an NBA Let's thing. talk about this. The Flat Earth Army, or the people who believe that the Earth is flat, believe that this is what the Earth looks like. This is the map that they use. I've been shown it by several different people, and this is what it shows in the documentaries as what the Earth looks like. In these documentaries that I watched, I've seen several different strategies from them to try to prove how and why the Earth is flat and with lasers and all kinds of different things. Nothing that really made a lot of sense work. to me or no one like Neil deGrasse Tyson talking, explaining how it's possible. I haven't really seen anything, but I have a much simpler option. Now, I've met people that believe the Earth is flat. I was at somebody's house once and this guy was hanging out and the girl goes, hey, by the way, uh, this guy believes the earth is flat and then just walked off. And I thought, well, this is gonna be an interesting conversation and I'm always interested to hear somebody and I don't want to invalidate their opinion, but I'm always interested to hear why they think something is a certain way. Yeah, why do you I believe it? a lot of different questions. Now, the main thing that he wanted to show me was, and he was interested because I was a pilot, but he wanted to show me that, look, on these flight aware or these apps where you track flights, you can see that it's curved here. You guys are flying in a curve. But on my earth, where it's all flat, you're actually going in a straight line. And everybody knows the shortest distance between two points is a flat line. Now, of course, I asked some things like, how is it the North Pole goes for weeks without having sun? And he didn't really have an explanation for that. He did pull up some videos that looked like some dude in his basement making some videos. But I mean, I'm a pilot and I make videos in hotel rooms. So, I mean, I can't really judge. I have a way to all the flat earthers out there to prove once and for all, whether that your map is right or it is completely wrong. And it, I've seen you do a lot of different tests and you guys have spent a lot of money and this will probably be cheaper once you average it all out. You'll notice here on their map, Antarctica is kind of like a border. Now, this flat earth guy that I talked to, what he told me was Antarctica is just a very, very high wall. And he also mentioned to me that planes have never flown over Antarctica, which is not true. But he essentially right. said it's just a very, very high wall that is basically where the end of the earth is. And it's a conspiracy between the governments around the world and a few other people to make us believe that the earth is round. Yeah, all the governments around the world who completely hate each other, try to kill each other and take each other over, are secretly working together to hide the wall. So much makes sense to me now. Now, I was surprised when I saw some of these flat earth conventions that they have there are hundreds of people there, and there some, seem like some pretty wealthy Thousands. and intelligent people. And I'm always happy to be proven wrong, and I'm the type of guy that I like to be proven something before I believe it. That's why I even dove into it in the first place, because this was years ago when it was like really big, and there was huge conventions with thousands of people going. Um, so I was like, I gotta take a look at it at least to see what these assholes are talking about. But... Uh, yeah, they're all grifting, dude. So I'm going to give you all an option to prove whether your Earth is exactly like you describe it or not. Very simple. Before I explain to you how this theory can be verified or not, I want to explain two things about aviation. One, pilots take safety very, very seriously. There is something on our aircraft that will alert us if we are going to hit a mountain. It's a ground proximity warning system, which means if we're in a plane and we're flying towards a mountain or a wall or something like that, that's going to cause us to crash, our system will tell us, hey, you're about to hit something. Now there's a radar there as well that we can use for weather tracking. And so if that radar is hitting a mountain, it's going to be red, it's gonna tell us don't fly into that. The reason I say that is because flat earthers believe that the perimeter of the earth is Antarctica and it's one huge massive wall. I haven't spent all these years working on this amazing body to fly into a wall in Antarctica. Here's the plan. 
At my airline, we have mostly cargo aircraft, but we have several 747s that are in a passenger configuration. We have some that are more into a first class passenger configuration, meaning there's a lot more first class seats. And we have some that are just in a more coach configuration, meaning you can fit a lot more people in there. I put some stories up there on my Instagram, but usually when we're transporting people, it's usually the military or VIP. So I'm not allowed to show very much of what and who I'm transporting. But I thought, all right, let's get a bunch of flat earthers together that you get at your conventions. You can sell some tickets. Hey, you can even make some profit on it. It doesn't really matter to me, but you can charter this aircraft and go anywhere you wanna go. If you choose my airline to charter the 747 from, I will volunteer to fly that aircraft and we can all be Christopher Columbus for a few days. I've even come up with a basic flight plan of where to go so you can prove or disprove your theory. We'll start off here in Miami and we'll fly down to Buenos Aires, Argentina. Obviously this will have to happen when COVID is all done, but that gives you some time to plan and sell tickets. Now we'll get down there. It's roughly like an eight or nine hour flight, just depending on weather and things like that. We'll get down there and we could take a day or two of a vacation down there in Buenos Aires. It's a pretty cool city. I've been there a bunch and you can explore the city and then we'll go from Buenos Aires down to Melbourne, Australia. Now, as many of the flat earth army people know, there are things like flight aware where you can track a flight. You'll have the flight number, the tail number, and all those types of things. So the people who aren't on the flight will be able to track the flight and see where it's going. So they'll be able to see it leaving Miami down to Buenos Aires and Buenos Aires down to Melbourne. They'll be able to track that flight in real time and see everything. As well, you're more than welcome to bring a compass on board. You can see the direction that we're going once we take off from Miami. You'll see that we're headed south and all of those things. But I have more options to help you prove your theory. First, if we were to go from Buenos Aires to go to Melbourne, based off of your map, we would have to fly all the way up back through America, over part of Canada, some of Asia, and then through the north part of Australia to get all the way down to the south part in the regular global world of Australia, which is where Melbourne is. That means it would be about three times as long, I'm just guessing based off of looking at your map, about three times the amount of flight time, so roughly 27 hours. Now I know what some of you are thinking, oh, well, the government could lie and make it look like on the computer that you're really going a different direction as part of a big scam. And Kelsey, you look like you're maybe part of the government, but I swear I'm not. So here's what I would do if I were- I mean, they definitely could fake uh, which direction you're traveling, but they can't fake how long it takes you to get there. I mean, they could fake it longer but they can't make the flight shorter and you still get there. For you to help further prove your point of the direction of flight that we're going. Have some of your people that are in Argentina, have them go and see the direction that the plane goes once we take off. They can be there on the ground. And of course, I advise that we fly during the day and that is to A, help prove your point and B, because I hate waking up in the middle of the night to go to work. So if we take off in the daytime, you can have some people there in Buenos Aires see the direction the flight we go. They can get some telescopes. They can watch the plane take off going south. You guys will have your compasses. You can see the direction that we're going. And if you put some people down further down on the bottom towards Patagonia there in Argentina, then you can have some people there see the direction that the plane is going. They'd be able to track that we are indeed headed south. Now, the only people even further south, like Antarctica, are probably going to be scientists. And I'm guessing none of them believe the Earth is flat, so they're probably not going to want to help you. But that's okay. Because what you can also do is put some people on the north side of Australia to see where we come from. So if you have people that are very far north of Melbourne, you can have them track and look up the sky and see if a plane is coming that way. Right. As well as This guy's plan is fucking retarded. But I do get the premise. He's basically saying if we live on the pizza earth, you fly down to Argentina. If you want to go to Australia, which according to your map is on the other side of the pizza, it's a long fucking flight. But yet, when you actually fly from Argentina to Australia, it's not that long of a flight. So, good point. Definitely has a good point there. Definitely a good point there. But I'm not convinced it's a flat earth at all in any way, shape, or form. It's clearly a globe. Everything points to it's a globe. The, the talking points that it's not a globe don't make any fucking sense whatsoever. 
But I encourage all of you to find that video or that book or that article or that debate that's going to change my mind and send it to me or recommend we watch it because we will check it out. We will check it out. Like I said, I'm open. I'm open. I change my beliefs all the time. I was an atheist my whole life and found out I was a fucking retard. You know what I mean? It's okay. It's okay. You can change your mind. So I'm open to changing my mind. But I, get, I, I can't swallow the bullshit these guys are spewing. I cannot swallow the bullshit that they're spewing. Um, so, if, like I said, if you got the proof, if you got the convincing video, then by all means, let me know. You can email me mcclures.store at outlook.com uh, it's down in the description send me an email hit me up on Instagram which is this one Randall McClure you can send it to me over there um, I'll take a look I'll take a look but from where I'm sitting right now Anamik I love you you're my guy but you're a fucking retard bro you are a fucking retard when it comes to this flat earth thing. Um, I don't know what to tell you, bro. I don't know what to tell you. But, like I said, if you want to prove it to me, if you can prove it to me, if you got more evidence, I am willing to look, send it over. I will take a look. Um, for everybody that tuned in today and gave me a thumbs up and a share and got involved in the chat, we appreciate you. For the rest of you who showed up and just stalked quietly from the background, it's a little weird not gonna lie it's a little weird but we do appreciate you as well hopefully you'll get involved in the chat next time uh i do enjoy the chat it's probably my favorite part of the streaming is conversing um with you people um so we do enjoy that but we are trying to stream daily so hopefully we'll be back tomorrow um, I don't have a show planned so far, so if you got a good idea for tomorrow's show, hit me up on Instagram or email. Let me know what you guys want to check out. Um, the lightning coming from the firmament recorded in slow motion by scientists. One last one, though, is it looks like water is above the firmament. Yeah, but anything that looks like anything is just because your eyes are dumb. You know what I mean? Eyes are dumb. Cameras are tricky. Videos are fake. Um, but you can measure shit. We can measure shit. You can repeatedly measure shit. The lightning coming from the firmament recorded in slow motion. I'm curious. Let's see. Lightning... Coming from the firmament. Did I spell it? You've never seen a star do this, the water above. Most people have no clue that in 2023, the best way to make money on Amazon is not. Genesis chapter 1, and God made the firmament, he divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. But did God define what the firmament was? I don't think he did. I like the beat though.
So I, I don't understand. Is this supposed to prove that what the moon's not round or that it's sometimes round? Like you can tell in this part of the video, you don't actually think the moon is changing shape like that, right? So clearly it's his camera not picking it up and picking it up and sometimes picking it up. We don't actually think the moon is moving like that, right? We we do know it's the camera's inability to to capture it. Yeah, I don't understand like what that's proving. Your camera doesn't have the ability to fucking capture an image that far away, clearly. I don't understand what this is. Is there any more writing anywhere? I don't see any writing anywhere else at some point explaining what this is supposed to mean. Yeah. That's fucking retarded. This is the first photo ever taken in space. Back in October of 1946, a bunch of American soldiers and scientists all got together at White Sands Missile Range and essentially attached a 35 millimeter motion picture camera to a V2 rocket. Then they launched that rocket up as high as it could possibly go and it actually hit the beginning edge of outer space. And that's why this is the first photo ever taken in space. Back in October of 1946, a bunch of American soldiers did we see the first photo ever taken in space? Fetid, we can make fun of his fluoride face. Good idea. Uh, I don't know what fetid means. And whose fluoride face are we making fun of? And what is a fluoride face? I don't know if I'm aware of what a fluoride face is. Um, oh, and people talking about the firmament, talking about Hillary Clinton, talking about the glass ceiling is fucking funny, bro. Like, you do know she's talking about the metaphorical ceiling that's keeping women down. They call it glass because you can't see it because it's not fucking real. Yeah, I don't see the video you're talking about lightning sprites. All right. Lightning... Sprites or spirits? Sprites are like fairies. All right, let's check it out. This is not a water bottle. It's an air up bottle this that is... flavors ordinary water through scent use. This, this is, this is not a water bottle. This is not a water bottle. It is not. Transient Luminous Events Explain. I love lightning. Oh, wait, I'm missing some chat here. What's going on here? Crest and Colgate victims equal toxic people. Welcome signs invite evil spirits. You're such a heathen, Mike.
uh, are you fucking speaking English, bro? Like, when you type shit in and you hit enter, do you think that you're fucking making sense? I have no fucking clue what you're talking about. Crescent, are you talking about my perfect teeth? They're bought and paid for, bro. They are perfect. Heathen Mike? Heathen Mick? What the fuck does that mean? I don't know what a heathen Mick is or a heathen Mike. Buy yourself some more while I ear. What does while I ear mean? I wish this asshole's chat was coming up on the fucking screen so you can see how retarded this guy is. Fake just like me. What's fake about me, bro? The fact that you believe in flat earth because you're a dumb fuck? That makes me fake? Okay. Okay. Good argument, bro. Well, that's cool. So the sprites are most common of the phenomenon. That's dope. They form in tandem with a strong cloud to ground lightning flashes. So when this cloud flashes lightning towards the ground, apparently it sends energy in the other direction. <laughs> Fuck that noise though. Um, Wow. Through NASA's new citizen science project, spectacular photographs can... Spectacular photographers can submit their sprite photos and become part of the cr credited research. That is a crazy looking photo. How does this prove a flat earth though? That is bitching. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great video. You didn't even tell us what, what, what we needed on that video, bitch. So what's your point about the lightning spirits, though? Why does that, why does that make the earth flat? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, we're both you flat earth fucking schoolgirls talking to each other in the chat? Is that why I didn't understand? Yeah, uh, it's some little bitch boy language. You guys can only communicate with each other. Yeah, if you have fake teeth, you have a fake soul. That That's correct, you ignorant fuck. 
I have fake teeth because I'm not poor and I had bad teeth. So I fixed them. I'm not sure how that correlates with my fucking soul, you dumb shit. They're called lightning sprites, the water above the firmament. You, you seem to be held up on this firmament. What, what is the firmament, dude? Can you define firmament for me? The poor potato eater. Yeah, you don't ever eat potatoes. I'm sure french fries are against your religion, you fucking dumb shit. Like, if you're gonna come up with some disses, bro, I mean, get better. You could talk about my giant fucking forehead. You could talk to, about the fact that I look 60 even though I'm 40. I mean, these are the most common ones you fucking dumb shits come up with, but those are at least better than poor potato eater everybody eats potatoes you fucking asshole that's not a diss oh look at this guy he fixed his bad teeth not a diss dumb fuck you need to try harder you need to try harder No treasure in heaven? Did did I mention there was treasure in heaven? Pretty sure I didn't. Your head is a globe? Not really. Kind of. Stick some water on it. Again, dumb fuck. When you type shit, we're not in your fucking brain, right? So we don't know what other dumb shit's flopping around in your brain. You need to type out your whole thought if we're going to understand what the fuck you're saying, stupid. You don't store money on earth. You store your treasure in heaven. I know you wouldn't understand. How about because you don't speak English, you fucking moron? And nobody stores money on earth. You store your treasure in heaven. So. What are you saying? That, that's fucking dumb, dude. You need to make sense, bro. You need to make sense. Chris Tommy says a meek is 100% the water above the firmament. Yes, I know it says this in the Bible, dude. I am aware that it says the firmament in the Bible. But the firmament, or the Bible does not define what firmament is. So I'm curious, do you know what it is? Sheesh, that beater, record, stop, boring, late mic. You know you're fucking dumb, right? Like, are you, are you aware that you're dumb? Are you having, like, Siri type for you? Do you want to blame it on Siri, or is it actually you typing all this dumb shit? And why is it not showing up on screen so everybody can see your dumb shit? Let's let's flip back again. Let's see. Let's see if it comes up this time. Type some more dumb shit, retard. And Amik, I wasn't talking to you. The assholes I'm talking shit to are on my YouTube chat. <laughs> Fuck. 
But the red sprites you're talking about, well, I guess they don't have to actually be red, but they are cool. They are beautiful. I don't understand what it proves, though. You've probably never had a chance to gaze into the upper atmosphere during a thunderstorm, but if you were watching from a satellite or space shuttle, you might see some mysterious flashes of light with mystical names. They're called elves, sprites, halos, and jets. Satellite photos of these events have now been analyzed to find out more about where they occur and how often. Here you can see what jets look like. They have a prominent trumpet shape and researchers found they were very rare. Over a period of three years, they only spotted 13 of them. Sprites were more common and 633 of them were seen in three years. They make Venus look dull when they light up the sky. Halos can be seen right before sprites and they occur in similar numbers. But elves were the ones that took over the skies most frequently. Researchers counted 5,434 elves at an altitude of 90 kilometers, typically over oceans. Interesting. When many of them go off in the same area, they can increase electron density. This can interfere with ground and space communication, as well as navigation. Okay, that was not enough detail. I did it just to... You're not worth my time. You understand that now. I did it just to piss you off. Let your hate flow. That's all you're good at. Truth videos don't have commercials. Okay. So I'm not worth your time, but you're chatting the most in my chat. And you've been on this stream for how long, dumb fuck? And you did what just to piss me off? Who's pissed off, dude? I don't understand. Let the hate flow. Yeah, I'm Irish, bro. Getting the hate to flow is not hard. It's not hard, bro. It's pretty easy. I fucking hate everybody. Pretty much everything. This is an easy thing. This is easy. That is all I'm good at, is hating. Okay. Based on what? And truth videos don't have commercials. I, I don't know what that means. So any video in existence that has a commercial isn't true? Like, is this the logic? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. But Amik, you didn't answer me. What does the firmament mean, bro? Because from my understanding, it is not defined in the Bible. So what is your explanation of it or what is your definition of it and why does it make the earth flat if there is a firmament can it not go around the entire globe or no i just don't get your argument Uh, but you think the lightning sprites are showing that there's water? I don't know. There's obviously water in the air above the clouds. Are you saying that's what's being illuminated is the water in the air? I don't get what you're saying, bro. I don't get what you're saying. So it's a solid barrier between the waters that has the stars and... The greater start, the greater stars, I stored in the moon and the sun, and this is why. Wait, what? We cannot leave. That's why we have not been to space or to, to the moon. This is why. Um, no, I, we haven't been to the moon, 
because we don't have the ability to send people through the what is it the van allen radiation belt i believe that now we would probably have a good enough vehicle or craft to be able to make it to the moon i don't believe that a human being I don't know if we have the ability to shield a human being from the radiation that's supposedly in space. I don't even know how much I believe in space radiation, but I assume that it is real. It is an assumption of mine. This is true. Um, but we've sent satellites like to Mars. Do you think the Mars rover is not real? Like they just sent it to like Arizona and it's just cruising around in somewhere in Arizona? The firmament would prove that they're lying and it's up to you to know how much they are lying. Now, if you want to know what somebody is lying about, you have to look at the reason they're lying. The reason they lied about making it to the moon is because we were in a fucking space race with the commies, bro. Um... Oh, you do think the Mars rover is cruising around Arizona. <laughs> okay. All right. You do. do you, bro. Um, the stars aren't even like that. The sun, they're trapped angels. Especially with AI out now to the public. They probably had AI for a long time. Uh, that's possibly true. I don't think it is, though. Pretty sure AI was developed by private companies, not government agencies. It's not like the internet. Uh... Yeah, but just because the government is lying to you about shit doesn't mean that the Earth is flat, dude. That's what I don't I don't understand your correlation. If you don't believe in fucking NASA or going to the moon, n none of that has to do with the earth being flat. You don't have to believe in NASA to believe that the earth is round. It's not NASA who told us the earth is round. Yeah, a global conspiracy to convince everybody the Earth is round? I don't see how that keeps us from believing in God. Like, there's no correlation there, dude. That doesn't make any sense. Hey, if you want to believe it's flat, bro, but fucking do you. No one gives a shit, really. I just don't understand your own argument to yourself. Because just because the government is lying about space or going to the moon doesn't mean the earth is flat. The government is not who told us the earth is flat. I mean, is round. The government is not the one that said the earth is round. So I don't understand why the government lying about other shit has to do with the earth being round or flat. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, you are correct. The government lies pretty much about everything, bro.
this is true, but I don't understand why that... Uh, I don't understand why that means that the Earth is You could flat. spend your lifetime pursuing Mother Nature's beauty, and she'd never cease to blow your mind. Oh, my Whoa. God. Blue jets. Wow. Can initiate That's fucking a cool. bolt of lightning rocketing out the top of thunderstorms toward the edge of space. It's the excitation of nitrogen that delivers their spectacular sapphire glow. That's rarely documented. Cool. Most blue jets are oh. accidentally caught on camera by nature lovers gawking at the parent lightning storms. After years of research and with the help of collaborator Paul Smith, this blue jet was forecast and targeted in West Texas. Oh my Whoa. god. That's fucking cool. Holy I just got a jet. I gotta call Paul. Hey Paul. Hello. We just got a jet. Dude. I got it. Yo. What? I got it. You didn't. Oh, he did. He did get it. As a matter of fact, he got that shit. That looks dope. That is fucking cool. I don't understand how that correlates to a flat earth, but it's fucking cool. If people thought they were special, they'd make better choices. Our society wouldn't be so screwed. Uh, no, people have the gospel, bro. They don't give a fuck because they like their sin. People choose sin, bro. How does it remain light on the West Coast when it's dark on the East Coast? Are you fucking kidding me, dude? It's because they're 3,000 miles apart? Are you fucking retarded, dude? The lightning sprites show that there is water about and you can see there appears to be something up there but if they're lying about the sky why wouldn't they lie about the shape of the world? Yeah. The guy just explained they tracked that storm specifically because the nitrogen content in the air, thinking they were going to get one of those blue things because it's an ex expulsion of nitrogen from the storm cloud at the same time that there's lightning. This is how they knew he, that's why he knew he'd be able to record one. Just because it has the appearance of water, because it's blue, doesn't mean that it's water. And no, the Earth is not flat. And who's lying about the sky? Like you act like there's a there's a sky team, and they're they're just disseminating information. With the lies and everybody like there's millions of people who study the fucking sky and the stars and from all different countries from all different religions they pretty much all agree on most of the shit dude so they're all coordinated lying or you think they're just all operating off the same false premise but still coming up with this the same end result? I, I don't get your logic, dude. I just don't get the logic behind it. Oh, I get it. TB4909 is saying that the West Coast and the East Coast being light and dark shows that the Earth is curved and not flat. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. All right. So 909 was not being a dumb flat earther. 
No offense, Amik. We still love you, my guy. I just don't understand your logic, bro. You're a very smart dude. Your logic is not sound. Your logic is not sound with this argument. So you think that everybody's studying these uh, blue jets because they think the earth is round and because they don't believe in the firmament that they've deemed that they're nitrogen and not water? Yeah, but there aren't aliens, dude. I don't believe that there's aliens. And if you believe in God and the firmament, what do you mean believe in aliens? So you think that... Uh, you think that God created us and then he created aliens also? And he just didn't tell us about it? That's a separate book we didn't get? Yeah, aliens aren't real, bro. The um I actually because I believe in God, I believe in aliens less, and I I believe that the government is only telling you about aliens because they're afraid that the rapture is going to come and millions of people are going to disappear. They're going to use aliens to explain it to all the people left on earth. Um that's what I think. That's what I think. In math, you have to prove equations to know that they work. All science is assumptions, basically, and they thought it was flat before, and people believe that they were wrong, were crazy. Um, but like they said in the Flat Earth debate that we watched, it was a very small window in history when people thought that the Earth was flat. And it's not like large groups of people thought that the earth was flat. This is a very narrow view at a very small window in history. There's not a huge waterfall around the edge. TB4909. Obviously, there's a giant ice wall keeping all the water in. <laughs> Bro, there's no logic behind your fucking ice wall. Just get on a fucking plane. Get on a boat, dude. Head on out. You're not ever going to hit a fucking ice wall. Like, we've sailed everywhere. Before there was organized uh, global governments, people sailed everywhere, dude. And if there's an ice wall, that means you can go on the top of the wall. That means you can look over the edge of the wall into space. Believe me, if there was a fucking... You don't think any YouTubers have enough money to go to the fucking ice wall to make the YouTube video, bro, for 600 billion clicks? They do. You just can't because it's not real. Before they found out that it was round, what do, what do you mean, bro? Before what? There's ancient cave drawings of the fucking sun and moon and earth and planets all being round. The Aztecs fucking mathematically calculated that the fucking earth was round. Who are these people that thought it was flat, dude? Let's look it up.
Who in history believed I before E, right? Except after C. All right. Um, who in history believed the earth was flat? All right. According to the Brit Encyclopedia, Flat Earth, or the perception that Earth exists as a flat disk, either circular or square shape, this view is persistent in ancient world until empirical observations revealed that Earth's shape was spherical or ellipsoidal. In modern times, however, the notion of a flat Earth has revived and being promoted by social media, despite scientific evidence to the contrary. To observe Earth's curved horizon, one must be at least about 35,000 feet above its surface. Since the technology of ancient cultures was insufficient to allow people to reach such heights, the world around them appeared to be flat and stationary. Their perceptions were further reinforced by the movements of the sun and the moon, which appear to rise in the east and set in the west relative to a flat horizon, and of the stars, which appear to rotate in a dome overhead. Different descriptions of a flat earth can be found in the annals? Annals? Is that annals? <laughs> if that's annals, that's a funny fucking word, bro. Uh, ancient civilization worldwide, for example, ancient Egyptian and Mesopotamian records describe the world as a disk in the ocean, with the heavens arching above it. In an Iraqi tablet dated 1000 BCE shows Babylon at the center of a flat disk, and the Greek philosopher Anax Anaximander, who was popping off from 610 to 546, perceived the earth as a flat disk perched on a top of a cylinder. In the Norse cosmology, earth is a flat plane encircled by an ocean with a world tree at the pillar of the center. In India, some sacred texts describe the planet as a series of stacked flat disks, while others describe it as a horizontal wheel set on a vertical axle. In China, Earth was described as flat and square until the 17th century, at which time Western science introduced evidence of the planet's spherical shape. Yeah, so basically a lot of uh, cultures based off of physical observation alone concluded the flat Earth is flat. Which is kind of the same arguments that the flat Earther during the debate was making. Is based off what you can see with your eyes, you could conclude that the Earth was flat. This is true. Yeah, you, I mean, you could you could watch Santa deliver presents around the globe and know it's fucking globe as well. But let's not be too obvious here, Rob. Let's not be too obvious. They believe everything is a lie. Everything is a lie. All right, so the idea that Earth is flat seems to be enduring. All right, hold on. Let me, let's go big screen so you guys can see what I'm reading here. And I can read it off my big monitor, which is better. Um, but here, let me put my ugly face on cam because you don't want to miss that. You know what I mean? All right, so the idea that Earth is flat seems to have been enduring hold on human imagination in the 1830s. A commune in Britain led by a British writer, Samuel Burley Rothbowman, resurrected the concept as backlash against rapid scientific progress. Members believed that the Earth uh, was a circular disk with the North Pole at the center and a wall of ice surrounding the edges of the disk contained in the ocean. So that's where your model comes from, just so you're aware. 1830s commune in Britain. Okay. The group was regarded as a harmless symbol of British essentialism. 
eccentricity, 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 eccentricity. That's a cool fucking word. I like that word, eccentricity. All right. I'm going to have to throw that in there, dude. We like it. What would become the modern flat earth concept emerged modestly in the 1950s as the Flat Earth Society, which is a small fringe group in Britain with a membership of fewer than 4,000 people. However, largely due to the rising influence of the internet and social media, in the early 2000s, the organization launched itself worldwide in October of 2009, and the annual conferences followed and catered to a variety of worldviews. Some of the society's models echoed the ancient view of Earth as a disk with a dome of stars rotating above it. The models of the other groups, however, claim that the sun and the moon are only 50 kilometers, 31 miles in diameter, and that they circled the disk at a height of 3,417 miles. Well, that's just fucking stupid, bro. You could go 3,000 miles in a fucking balloon. <laughs> and touch the fucking moon? What the fuck? Others envision a world hemmed in by Antarctica, which is believed to extend infinitely in all directions, or they reject conventional laws of gravity, explaining that the Earth exists as a disk that accelerates upward in order to give the illusion of gravity. Scientists and researchers who studied this growing movement have found that its appeal is rooted in four trends. The public's mistrust of the official scientific sources. The purple wait. The perpetuation? Perpetuity? Perpetuation? I don't know what that fucking word is. I'm a dumb fuck. Of conspiracy... Why can't I say that word? I do know the word. It's in my brain, but I can't say it. Anyways, the spreading is what it means of conspiracy theories, loyalty to the groups and communities they identify with, and the use of social media to spread misinformation. Flat Earth ideas have gained a large enough audience worldwide to alarm some scientists who have launched their own social media campaigns to debunk the Flat Earth models promoted online, and other resources are working to overcome these perceptions by combining the teaching of rigorous evidence-based science with a restoration of public trust in scientific institutions attained by taking the question of flat earth adherence seriously and refraining from taking aloof and dismissive positions. Which is not what the debater we watched earlier did. He definitely took a very dismissive position, but nonetheless... Proved his point to be. Ugh. Um, but yeah, what do you think about that argument, Amik? Have you ever watched a flight tracker where you can watch a flight? And based on your sphere map, you wouldn't be able to go from China to America going right. You know what I mean? You'd have to go left. Or you'd hit the ice wall. So when you when you track the plane and it takes off and it goes right and it just keeps flying right and then it lands in Hawaii. Gets some gas and then keeps flying right and lands in America. Where was the ice wall? Where was the ice wall? I don't get it. And believe me, I believe in all kinds of conspiracy theories. Like, I'm not one who is for the traditional narrative. Or goes along to get along. Uh, that's not me at all. So, if any of Flat Earth logically fucking made sense at all, we could get on board with it, bro. We really could. But there's just... There's, there's no logic behind it. You have to do crazy fucking you got to make some crazy hoop jumps um in order for it to uh, to even be feasible in antarctica 
Look at the UN seal. That's the map. All right. You want to see where the UN seal comes from? All right. Where does the UN seal come from? The original emblem of the United Nations was created by a team of designers during the United Nations Conference on International Organization in 45. The design team was led by Oliver Lincoln Lundquist. So do we believe that Oliver Lincoln Lundquist is a flat earther? And this is the flag that you're talking about? Just so we're clear. This is what we're what we're going with. You do know this is a globe flattened, right? Like if you take a round image and you just that that's what it is. So you think that the UN secretly knows that it's flat and they put it on their flag to like rub it in people's face that they don't actually know the truth? Just because the UN flag looks similar to a flat earth fucking model map doesn't mean anything, dude. That doesn't mean anything. All right, but it's been a very interesting stream. I'm already late to my side hustle. I got to go make some cash. You guys do not tip me enough to not side hustle yet. By all means, we would appreciate all tips. Feel free to send them in. My favorite crazy flat earther, Amik, uh, sends me gifts, and we appreciate him for it. Um, he is slightly fucking retarded for this stance. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. People think I'm slightly retarded for a lot of shit I believe as well. And this is fine. This is fine. To each our own. But I do encourage you... I do encourage you... To just logically make it make sense. Which means like... Everything has to line up. Like the uh, then what and then what and then what. They all have to line up. You can't graze over any of them... To get back to why well, I just think people are lying so it's flat. Like that's, um, what do they call it? Disingenuous. Intellectually disingenuous. I think that's what they call it. Um... So yeah, I tried to get on board, bro. Like I said, I love conspiracy theories... Uh, the majority of them are probably true. Uh, I tried to get on board with this one. I tried to get on board with this one. And also, level doesn't mean flat, but level as an opposed to the center of gravity. Um, did I miss some other chats? System of control. You've been told to shut the fuck up when intelligent people are talking. <laughs> uh, water is level. What a hoop jump. Who thinks water is level? Like water sitting in a glass? Hey, the chat finally decided to pop back up. I'm not sure what's what's going on with that. We could have had the entire idiot conversation with system of control up on the screen. That would have been fun to make some shorts out of. Um, but old grumpy farmer, fucking dope name by the way. Uh, water is level. What a hoop jump. Are you saying that flat earth is a hoop jump? Or are you saying that water being level is a hoop jump? Intellectually dishonest. Yes. 
If the logic doesn't stack up, then you're being intellectually dishonest. This is my statement. I stand by it. Gamer, guy, girl, confused chick. I stand by it. It made sense. At least it made sense to me. Um, but I appreciate everybody who tapped in today. Uh, we've gone over three hours, which means I won't be able to transfer it as one file, which is a pain in my ass. Um, but that's okay. We did enjoy today's stream. I appreciate everybody who tapped in. Uh, if you gave me a thumbs up, we appreciate it. If you gave me a follow on Rumble, we appreciate it. If you want to click the join on Rumble, five bucks a month gets you behind a paywall um, where we don't really have anything yet because we don't have people paying five bucks a month. But once you guys do, then we will kind of thing. I think. Maybe we should put some stuff that's there. I don't know. I don't know. But we do appreciate everybody who helps support. Click the links. Follow me on social. If you're broke like me and you don't have a dollar to send me, I get it. I don't have a dollar to send you. So I understand. But you can like and share and follow and join the next live. Um, this also helps out. You could tell your fat mom about me. She'll probably like me. She's fat. She doesn't do much. She watches lots of YouTube. You should tell her about me. She'll, she'll enjoy the stream. Same thing with your ugly cousin and your one-eyed, half-retarded sister. They will also enjoy me. So feel free to share. <laughs> uh, your fucking uncle with an eye patch? Yeah, tell him. <laughs> <clears throat> all right my brain's gone we've clearly been streaming for too long we appreciate all of you let me know what you guys think about flat earth i'm curious if you got the real evidence send it over we'll look at it uh amik as always we appreciate you my guy um you're fucking retarded on this one but we still appreciate you um and we'll be back we'll be back tomorrow come hang out follow like all that good stuff I'll see you tomorrow. Hasta mañana. Later, later. Bye. Just kidding. We're not starting. We're stopping.